Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, no. where we play new games on classic consoles, <laughs> especially the Atari 2600. Yes. And we have a very special show today, mm -hmm. and it's all focused on the Atari Vox. Oh, cool. That little add-on for the Atari 2600 that now, talks. Now RC70's comment there makes a lot of sense, and the cat is jumping up on the equipment. No. Woo! No. See if he has to be kicked out soon. So the funniest thing is he was lying quietly on the floor until James flipped the audio over, and then he's like, "Now ah. I'm gonna woo jump on the equipment." <laughs> Get attention! Yeah. Yay. <laughs> yes, Atari Vox. Yes. So that means we're gonna be playing a bunch of games mm. that use the Atari Vox. Cool. And the reason that we're doing this right now, I mean, I've had an Atari Vox for a long time, mm -hmm. but it hasn't been working um, because there's been some new games put out that are maybe pushing the limits of what the Atari Vox can do. And we really kind of found that out with uh, Wizard of War. Remember when we were playing it and it kind of cut out all the time? Mm. And it would say some things and then all of a sudden it would, all just, sudden it would start, just start gone. working. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it would not come back unless you unplugged it, mm. plugged it in again. It would say like three phrases and then just go. Mm. Well, they've um, done some updates to the Atari Vox, and I have the new one in this box, mm. supposedly. I hope it's in there, or this show is going to be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a travesty. Mm. Um, new poster. Yes, we'll get to that. It is not video game related. <laughs> Let me run through all my uh, things I have to get through first, and we'll get to all of this stuff. Yeah. Um, and my eyes bugging me, so if you see me rubbing my eye a lot is it like spasming no it's like it something feels like there's there? something in my eye Ugh. and it's Keep really your hands annoying clean. i'm gonna give you some hand, hand sanitizer no i just wash my hands a lot are so you sure yeah, I yeah but even it. touching that stuff that's though? been washed okay that's been wiped okay. down everything that I'm comes in the house sure. gets wiped down i know i know i'm just double checking <laughs> so the games today we're going to play is the atari vox speak and spell mm -hmm. um from 2011 oh, that's uh, exciting man goes down 2006 mm -hmm. Juno First, 2009 retail version. Qbert Arcade, 2015 hack. Uh, Omicron, 2011 retail version. Mm -hmm. And Wizard of War Arcade, 2019 retail version. Pink eye is a symptom of Corona. <laughs> no. Well, it's, no, it's not red. <laughs> it's, it's not red. I think he's just got something in there. It's just It just happened the last couple of minutes. <laughs> I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who uh, support the show and off the top of the show, as soon as we started streaming, Dan ABC and Spartan581 just resubscribed. Dan thank ABC you. resubscribed for uh, two months Excellent. in a row and Spartan581 is now at eight months and he says, hi, all have a great stream. Yeah. Thank you so much, Spartan581. Yes. And the rest of the people who are, uh, support the show as well, uh, Cafe Man, can you get that cat and kick yeah. him out? <laughs> He oh, knows what buttons to push. Come Man 2D, on. Captain Classic, Charles Reese, Dianoi, Drexel, Gretums, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Carl G. Croco 2600, Laudmont, Mad Max 2069, Metalunar, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, R Packrat VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Salary Man, Sir Cat Lake, Spartan Favor yeah. 1, Spiceware, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, and Ven Jack. And you can support, I'm almost done. <laughs> no, I was but. just saying, if you look at it, it really like spans the entirety of the page. Okay, you're getting kicked out, sir. Yeah, he's too excited. Yeah. Um, it does, it goes, and it's, the letters are getting smaller and smaller yeah. <laughs> to fit on the page. So everyone can get smushed in there. Yeah, it used smushed, to be like half the screen, but then there's too many people. And yeah. I had, to, I had to make it bigger. Um, you can support the show as well if you click subs if you uh, link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime mm -hmm. and click subscribe. It's free if you have Amazon Prime and you support the show and you get your name right out. So mm -hmm. there you go, a subscriber sandwich <laughs> down the right hand side. Yeah. Um, and make sure you uh, follow and subscribe and click like on all the things: Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And speaking of that, mm -hmm. we just passed 500 subscribers on YouTube. Yay! Thank you, everybody, who's watching on YouTube right now mm -hmm. and who has subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed and you like what you're seeing, mm -hmm. make sure you subscribe. Yeah. Um, right now, as of today, we have 507 YouTube subscribers. Wow, that's 
that's really good. We've done 168 awesome. shows. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of shows. <clears throat> and 38,000 people have watched uh, the videos. Wow. Which is a lot of people. How yeah. do you... 38 individual or like Individual plays things? of okay. shows. Okay, that's very cool. Yeah. yeah. That's very cool. Um, Facebook, we have 710 followers. Wow. Instagram, 169 Twitter, 60, and Twitch, 377 followers and mm. 30 subscribers. Mm. So that is incredible that yeah. people are following and watching and mm -hmm. enjoying the show. Yeah. Because we enjoy doing it. It's a nice little uh, time we get to play uh, some games. Mm -hmm. And because the show is all about the Atari Vox, I have an Atari Vox poll. And I haven't asked this before. So the poll question is, do you have an Atari Vox? Mm. Uh, let me put the poll up right now. Let me see if it automatically goes on the screen and in the chat. Uh, start the poll. It is in the chat. Okay, we'll put up the poll results in a bit. So you can pick one, two, and three. One is I have one or more. Two is I don't have one, but I'd like one. Yeah. And three is not interested. VCSs should be seen and not heard. <laughs> Shush, VCS. <laughs> Do Be not talk. Quiet. Your old technology. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing new for you. <laughs> um, and I have one or more. Now I should have two. Mm. Um, so I'm going to put one. Is it going to work? Oh, is my keyboard too far away? There we go. Uh, Ground Trooper says I need to get a new non-crashy one. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then if you have a Vectrex, you can put the Atari Vox Plus on your Vectrex. It and works on the Vectrex too? Yes, it does. <gasps> Wow. That's right. Are there homebrews for the Vectrex that a utilize lot, it? Actually, a that lot. That utilize the Atari Vox? Yep, a lot. Because wow. it was originally for the Vectrex. But we'll get into that. Mm, <laughs> we will get into interesting. that. Interesting. That's cool. Um, yes. So, pick one, two, or three. You can pick more. Actually, you can't pick more than one. Because no, it doesn't make really. sense for no, this poll. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> I have none, but I have more than one. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, Igor Croman messaged me on Facebook. He said, hello there. I run Atari Gamer and we've just announced the Lynx Programming Competition 2020. Mm. And if, for the people who don't know what that is, um, Lynx was made by the Atari, by uh, Atari, not the Atari. And it is their uh, handheld gaming mm -hmm. device. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. I don't have one. Um, so I can't remember. I don't know what year it was put out in. But uh, it was a fairly successful handheld device. A lot of people really like it. Um, so they're running a competition. Um, we've got Retro HQ, Atari Age, and Mark Space, who also, uh, Mark Space and Atari Age, mm. both um, sponsored the uh, cool. homebrew competition. So they're cool. sponsoring them as well. Mm. Uh, as sponsors, I was wondering if you were interested in covering the competition at all. And I said, yes, I will announce it on the show. <laughs> Uh, and it says, this is a programming competition for anyone who wants to show off their skills coding for the Atari Lynx. If you think you have what it takes and want your game to be listed on our game database, join, submit, and bask in the retro glory of this amazing console. This year's theme is future, but that's future with a twist. Think about how the future would have been imagined back in the 1990s when this console was new. Think of the retro movie posters and the games at the time and imagine them 50 years forward. Mm -hmm. Flying cars, space exploration, living on the moon, visiting other planets, intelligent robots, blasters, mind control, plus other wonderful things yet to come. We're talking about what the 2040s would look like if you were living in the 90s. Of course, this leaves a very open-ended and you're only limited by your imagination. Um, so their website is atarigamer.com if you're interested in checking out what games are being made for the competition or if you're interested in programming uh, a game for the competition as well. Um, Leo the Low uh, posted today after I posted I got all four golds. This is in terms of uh, tire tracks. Mm, okay. Um, and, uh, and I said the developer of tire tracks was there watching live as well. Mm -hmm. Muddy Funster. Cool. And uh, they said congrats James and Tanya. I have to say, uh, in my honest opinion, getting golds on tire tracks with a D-pad is quite challenging. Yeah. <laughs> Hats off. And and that's true. I think a jo like an arcade joystick would be, be better. I think it would be better. Because I find arcade joysticks are good for precision games. And the, the D-pad yeah. is kind of mushy and not precise. So it's yeah. better for mo like things you can move mushy. around. And I also find you're kind of like push like going up it doesn't track well like you have to almost push 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 yes and then so you're slowing the movement up and down so yeah, yeah. so 
RK joysticks are better for, for precision that. games. Yeah, I can see that. Single movements. That, that fourth level was pretty challenging. Yeah. I was I was thinking that at the time. Like yeah, a little a bit of a of, smoother movement might be. Especially go all the way down and back up yeah. immediately. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, they also say, I agree with Tanya that having James talking during gameplay is distracting <laughs> and would drive me nuts. Well, and I went, what? Uh, <laughs> well, here's the thing. Uh, it wasn't so much you talking, but you were picking stuff up <laughs> off the shelf. So I was trying to play, yeah. and out of the corner of my eye, I can see him jumping Moving. around. And that, after a while, I was like, sit down. <laughs> sit, down. sit down. But anyway. And I think I was but cross, it wasn't too crossing bad. your path. A little bit. Some of the time, a too. Bit. But, but we also, I also recognize that this is a video stream, so you need to kind of be doing something while I'm playing and talking yes. and doing things. entertaining so people. That's totally fine. So um, RC70 says uh, the Atari Lynx was originally released in North America in November 1993. And for uh, those who just joined us, we have a poll going. Um, actually, I can right put it on Sorry. this. And you're leaving. No, no, I'll be right back. I promise. <laughs> you can talk about the poll. Uh-huh. Uh, so I'm going to put up the poll question so people can see uh, what the poll answers because it's scrolled off the screen. So one is you have one or more of Atari Vox. Two, you don't have one, but you want one. And three is not interested. VCS should be seen and not heard. Um, and RC70 has just said, I'm going to order it with Juno first once I can justify the cost. And that is an excellent game that uses the Atari Vox. So that would be a good purchase. Um so let's get to the unboxing now, and we will talk a little bit about the history of the Atari Vox. Didn't bring anything cool back? No, no, no my nose was really itchy. I just oh. needed to scratch it off camera. Well, it was, it was, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was either I'm like it's either a hair or my nose is running, and, and I'm lipstick? like I'm gonna run out on my teeth. Yeah, your right top. Let's see. Hmm? Yep. Okay. Is it gone? Yep. Okay. So this is a package from Atari Age, Al from Atari Age. Let's see what's in it. I know what's in it. Let's hope I get what I wanted. <laughs> Didn't miss anything. Oh, keep it away from the cat. And bye. Well, you want out now? Out, please. Butler, human. No? Good boy. Uh, there you go. That's teamwork. Checking for lipstick on the teeth. You gotta yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah. Because if she found out she had lipstick on oh, her I'd teeth. Oh, I'd be very mad. <laughs> and I knew that she had lipstick on her teeth and didn't tell her. Yeah. That's no good. Okay. Is that enough to open it? Oh, my goodness. Oh. That's okay. I wasn't going to reuse it anyway. It's fresh. Mm. Not even open. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see what's in it. Please be an Atari box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't see any Atari boxes in there. Oh, oh, oh there we go. All the packing peanuts came out as well. Watch oh, out. Buried the at cats the bottom. love them. Because I think they're made of potato starch, right? Well, they yeah, but they still shouldn't eat it. <laughs> no. Probably other things yeah. not so great. Yeah. And they're probably not made on machines that are... Oh no, not not they're not suitable for consumption. Take, here, no, oh. no, 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 no. This doing? is I not. You're this putting is this not, back in here. No, these are things I'm gonna show. No, no, the packing peanuts. I thought you were gonna put them back in. Oh, they're on there. Anyway. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, so before we get to the Atari box, um, I ordered. Mm. These are inserts for uh, boxes, mm. and these are. I don't know what that is. I'll open that later. I got a bunch of um, boxes mm. that either were never originally available for games mm. or were originally available for games and now they've restocked the boxes. So I had a bunch of cartridges that needed homes. Mm. And so he's restocked a lot of the store with boxes. So I will be assembling those later. And let's go through them. Conquests of Mars. Mm. And that is the um, nice when you go vertically right? down. Yeah. Um, and this is made by Champ Games. So that's awesome that nice. I have a box for it. I nice. think almost every Champ Games now has a box. I think it's the last one I needed. Mm -hmm. Oh, Crazy Balloon. Very fun game. Yeah, Crazy Balloon. I love that game. Beautiful box. Oh, yeah, the box is color. nice too. Yeah, that's a fun we game. We in focus? 
Uh, almost. I, I think I, I need to adjust it because somebody was complaining about the focus. Thomas Yentz last time. Oh, Let's okay. fix it right now. I'll, I'll just stay here then. Yeah. How about I hold my wine glass as, as your substitute? Uh, no, just your eyes. <laughs> there we go. Better? Yeah. Because that's annoying. Crazy Balloon. Very, mm. very hard game. Very fun. Because um, your balloon's going back and forth, and you can't let it so touch good. the sides. Yeah, that's a fun game. Uh, this is made by Manuel Rockstar. Rock, Rotschkar? Almost sounds like Rockstar, but yeah. it's Rotschkar. Rotschkar. Yeah. Mm, Rotschkar. Um, excellent game. Nice. <laughs> Highly recommended. Very, very fun. Yes. Um, <clears throat> jump VCS, an endless runner. You're running along the rooftops. You have to oh, um, yeah. yep, jump yep. up and fall down. Mm -hmm. Very, very fun that. game. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, made by Repixel 8. Repixel 8. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And it's got uh, kind of a graffiti mm -hmm. um, type of uh, font there. And old school looking box with the 2600 at the top and the graphic in the middle. And then lead. Um, very fun uh, shooter, simple shooter with mm -hmm. great music. Uh, this is uh, made by Simone Sarah, and we're going to be playing a game of theirs, uh, mm -hmm. aka Simo. And the manual is done by Nathan Strum. Nice. Um, very fun shooter game. And the last one, uh, Blinky Goes Up, which is on my our list of games to complete. Because mm. remember, we played it one uh, a bunch of times one uh, show, and it's a platformer, which I love. And uh, we made it so far, but we didn't make it quite to the end. Yes, I remember, remember that, that one. Remember that one? Yes, got yes, kind yes. Of yeah. a good animation, really yeah. smooth animated really smooth. legs. Yeah, very good. And, Challenging, uh, yeah. It's made by, it doesn't actually say who's made by on here. Mm. It says, oh, code and artwork, uh, Jan Hermans. And it's got a quote from John Carmack on the back, mm. who made um, Wolfenstein nice. and from ID. Nice. Um, and I think this is probably the manual for the uh, Atari Vox. I don't know. It looks like it's promotional stuff. There's definitely Could some uh, stickers. Always stickers. Always stickers. Lots of stickers. Thanks for your purchase. Got a new favorite homebrew or maybe one that's not so favorite? Write a review of your purchase at the Atari Age store. Oh, and there's Wizard of War, Galaga, uh, Galagon, and Aardvark on the back nice. there. And ads for games from Atari Age. Um, all excellent games. Oh, there we go. Tar box manual, so that will be very handy in a second. Um, and we'll be playing out of the six games today, um, three of them boxed, and so we'll kind of be doing an unboxing of Wizard of War at the oh, same time. Oh, because we haven't actually played that version of it. Yeah, because we didn't have yes. a one working Atari box. Excellent. Two, uh, a system to plug it into. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a lot of fun. So, let's get to the history. Actually, we can open up this as well and take a look. And I will have to label them because I think they look exactly the same. Oh. <laughs> Are they identical? Um, probably. Uh, let me quickly you look. You can pull the other one out and show... That show uh... Yeah, they are identical. Are they? Yeah, so mm -hmm. I have to label the old one as version 1 and this one version 2. Um, so this is the Atari Vox. It has um, a DB9 plugs for the uh, joystick port 2 that it plugs into. And uh, stereo, I believe it's stereo audio out. Um, it does have a plus. Uh, there's a plus on the old one too. Um, not sure what the designation between Atari Vox and Atari Vox Plus. I don't know if there was ever a, just a straight Atari Vox. Um, I think it... The plus designates that it's Vectrex enhanced. Yeah, because it does say Vectrex enhanced. On the... Yeah. And the other one, does, does, it, does well, it say that too? This came from a Vecvox, I believe it's called. So originally it was Vectrex. Um, and then they added the ability for Atari games. Yeah, to, it to is be. identical. <laughs> um, so... The history of it, uh, Richard H. first posted about the Atari Vox on August 15th, 2004 in the Atari Age forums. Wow. He said, you probably don't know me, but I build Vectrex hardware, speech synths, RAM, flashcards, etc. My latest Vectrex speech synth, the Vecvox, 
is based around the SpeakJet chip. Uh, anyway, Alex Herbert has written an Atari software driver to make it work on the 2600 7800. So now I'm thinking of making the Atari version. Anyone interested in such a device? Mm. Yes, yes we are. The plus <laughs> is that it has Vectrex compatibility. Um, because it has dip switches inside of it, so you can actually make this work on the Atari or the Vectrex, but you need to open it up and throw some switches. Oh, on the inside? Yeah. But it, does it open easily then? Uh, relatively. Eh, relatively. Yeah. There's a little little opening on the side that you can kind of crack it open. Mm. Richard asked me to make the new Atari Vox say Atari Vox Plus. Oh! Oh, oh so really? does this say Atari Vox Plus? That's how you'll know you have the newer one? Yeah. That's good. Okay. That's, excited. That's very That's exciting. exciting. We'll be yeah. plugging this in in a second, so you'll be all, I'll be able to hear it. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next day, the first game to support the Atari Vox was announced. Mm. Slash leaked. Um, big player posted... Oh, no, Richard H. first said there's already one game in the pipeline. And then Big Player on August 16, 2004 said, Hey, is it Man Goes Down? What Alex H. has posted so far, the game has been awesome. I'm completely addicted to the game. And I believe that the high score right now, uh, I have the right high score right now, 88. Mm -hmm. So we will be playing the first game ever made for the Atari Vox, which is Man's, Man Goes Down. Um, so, seemed appropriate. Um... And then it was released on Atari Age on December 11th, 2004. So only a couple months after. There's cats at the door. Oh, now I'm going to let them in. Just that one. Because it's it's Atari, right? No, I think it's Pixel. What? Scratching like that? Yeah, I'll have to okay. push it open, so. The, hey, Arena Foot, you made it. Uh, the Atari Fox Speech Synthesizer, a new speech slash sound synthesizer by Richard Hutchinson for the Atari 2600 slash 7800 built around the speak jet. Single chip voice and complex sound synthesizers now available in the Atari store. The Atari Vox plugs into the second joystick port of the Atari 2600 or 7800 and can be accessed by games or other programs and add unlimited vocabulary, speech, and sound effects. The Atari Vox also includes, it is Atari, mm -hmm. a 32K of non volatile memory that can be used to store high scores, saves, configuration settings, and more. The Atari Vox is similar to Richard's popular Vec Vox speech module for the Vectrex. Thus far, two Atari 2600 projects have been announced to take advantage of the Atari Vox. Man Goes Down, a new homebrew uh, by Alex Herbert, and Loop Cart, an audio mini tracker by Paul Slocum. To learn more about the Atari Vox, listen to some sound samples. In order your own of Atari Vox, please visit the Atari Age store. Um, so, now it is time uh, to... Oh, Did... a foot. Oh, yeah. good. Yes? you want to talk about the poster the half oh, naked women in the back yes of just before <laughs> people are like what is what is why, that what, what is what is this going on why is there a poster like that yeah in behind on a video game show yes um this is my film it's my first film called a perfect 14 it's a documentary about plus size models and um it's actually hanging up there because i recorded a video recently <laughs> to post about the film mm -hmm. it's not for the show it just happens to be up there because yeah. i haven't switched it back. you haven't put you haven't changed it back yet um but it was just released on all the streaming platforms um like itunes and amazon and google play yeah and it uh got to it's like in the top 10 movies yeah top five it's actually still number one on google play for, for in the documentary in the documentaries and it's number three right now, and it did get up to number two on iTunes. So it's doing really well. Yeah. If you can imagine that in the world, this second, third most watched uh, documentary. documentary right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's doing just amazingly. And that's why I had to cancel Wednesday's show because I was just so busy doing promoting it and, yeah. and just working on it. Um, but I was able to. I had been waiting for the streaming and totally forgot about it so there yeah. you go so if anybody wants to watch what i do for a day job <laughs> um i i make films and this is this is my first feature film i've made other um short films and stuff mm. before and animations and web videos and things like that web mm. series um but yeah i won a bunch of awards for best documentary and now it's available for everyone to see mm -hmm. um as of three days ago so it's been in the top five for for all three days yeah it's so been, hopefully it stays there <laughs> hopefully it stays there and uh yeah if you wanted to check it out people really yeah. like it. it has nothing to do with video games 
absolutely <laughs> completely nothing. different different subject matter but, but uh, still a very very interesting film yes and and i think um appeals certainly i would say um appeals to a lot of women and it deals a lot with body issues yep um and uh if you have women wives uh daughters. older daughters like teenagers or older because yeah. if there's some subject matter in there that might be a little teenagers. sensitive teenagers enough um, i would say yeah. i would say it's totally they would they would totally enjoy watching yep. it. And if so. you know nothing about it, um, it'll actually be interesting because you'll learn a lot about um, um, body positivity and um, the modeling industry. And the fashion and, industry. And is a fashion part industry of it too, so. and plus size yeah. models. And, you know, I didn't know anything before I started making the film. <laughs> and now I know a whole bunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so you might find it interesting. Yeah. Um, so if you want to take a look at what I do, other than this show, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's why that's there. So let's plug in the new Atari Vox and see if uh, what I supposed to said mm -hmm. is uh, actually true. Yeah. <laughs> and it says uh, Atari, Atari Vox, Vox Plus. Plus. That'll be so awesome. Yeah. So let's plug it in. Uh, hopefully it doesn't blow up or fry anything. Down the middle button. Mm. Whoa! It's totally different. <laughs> it's got a little sound. That's so Let's hear that again. Awesome. Wow! That is awesome. <laughs> Atari Vox Plus. Plus. Oh, I love it. <laughs> wow! That is so cool. Now, now, even if you can't tell from the outside, the moment you you plug it in, yeah. boom, you'll be oh, able that's, to know. That's really that's good. That's really cool. That, you, that it's very different. Yeah. 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 So now way I don't to, have to label them. Way to go. Who is that? Thank you, Iosposta. Iosposta. Wow, that's awesome. Good job. Sounds really good. Very, very smart. Yeah. So uh, we're going to probably then get to the first game, um, which is not really a game, but it it's something. <laughs> <laughs> something. Um, it's called the Atari Vox Speak and Spell. And mm. this will let us kind of explore the sounds of it. Mm. Um, I've, I didn't really know about this before I started looking around for things that were compatible for the Atari Vox. Uh, sorry, Atari Vox Spell and Speak. Yeah. Yes, RC70. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Got to be careful of that copyright infringement. That's right. So. <laughs> has nothing to do. <laughs> nothing with, to do with the speak and with spell. the speak and spell. <laughs> it's <laughs> totally <laughs> different. Um, oh, and I suppose it doesn't even own one yet. Oh. But he made that sound. Well, I'm gonna have to get one now. <laughs> gonna have to get one. Yep. So this was first posted on May 4th, 2011, um, and this is a 4K program. Um, mm -hmm. Made by Revenge, uh, uh, Mike Sarna, and we actually, what did we play some? 21 Blue. Is that what we played recently of his? Mm. I think so. It was the um, card game, the Blackjack. Remember? Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, there we go. Uh, wait a second. Okay. Tire Fox Speak and Spell. Yeah, spell and speak. Oh my God, I'm gonna say that a lot. NTSC, right? Yes, yeah. we're always NTSC. I, I, I yeah. Just have think to tell M, me. North America. Yeah. Oh, that's a good way to remember. Yeah. M. Sarna. There we go. So, um, let me read about this. It's a text-to-speech program for the 2600. Type in some words, the swearing variety or not, and it will say them when you hit the speak button. Now. I kind of wanted this because I'm going to be able to spell it like zero page homebrew. Well, and then somehow incorporate it into some, some intro maybe later. Cause I was, I've always wanted to make an intro for the show that can play before we come on. So Ooh, nice. Very nice. now on the, did you ever have a program called Sam for the Commodore 64? Uh, I it, don't think so. It was a voice, um, voice synthesizer. And you could do exactly this. You would type in like a command that would be like Sam something, and it would build it into the RAM, and you could use it in your basic programs as well. Um, but you had to sometimes phonetically spell things because it didn't quite. Say it again. 
<laughs> mad, mad cat. <laughs> Can you move your wine a little bit over? Because I can't read. Sure. Not that way. The other way. Thank you. Um, the S buttons save your phrase in one of four slots. The L buttons load it. So the L's in the bottom and the S in the mm -hmm. bottom. That's good. So you can do a bunch of phrases and do them in a row. Um, left, right arrows speed up and slow down the speech. Uh, up and down arrows raise or lower the pitch. So you should try that out. Oh, no. Terrible. <laughs> um, it should be obvious from the name, but I'll say it anyway. This requires an Atari box. <laughs> Coronavirus. Not quite. Coronavirus. <laughs> Say, um, Pixel. Pixel? An, an Atari. Pixel and Atari. Pixel. Uh, other games uh, that uh, Revenge has made 21 Blue, Atari Vox Spell and Speed, Christmas Adventure, Little Miss It, 2K, uh, Slash Miss It, and Naughty List. Is there an and? Oh, you have to do the space and then and. That's pretty good. Yeah. Now, do you just keep typing and it's it'll just flow over? Yeah. Uh, okay. I think so. Pretty cute. Speak. Pagsel. <laughs> so. so. Don't clear it. Don't clear it. Save it. Save it in one. L. No, that's load. <laughs> That's S for save. There we go. And then if I go to Ellen. Nice. Oh, it even plays it when you load it. Yeah. Okay. So now do uh, zero page homebrew. All right. <laughs> zero. <laughs> All right. <laughs> zero. At least you don't have to scroll through the letters. Like in some things where you have to keep, like, scroll, you can move up, down, left, right, and... I'm going to keep them as separate words because yes. I have a feeling they're not going to, it's not going to pronounce It's going to do it better if yeah. it's... Um, like, uh, we have, for the show, an Instagram account. And you would not believe how many beer-related people... <laughs> Because you have up. homebrew. Follow. Oh, hashtag homebrew. homebrew. Yeah. Okay. Home. The home did not go well. Homie. Say it again. Brew. Yeah. Bruel. Zero page went went really well. Try um, B R U. Don't B clear it. Don't R -U? clear it. Brew. You have to phonetically spell it. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. No, 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 those. Oh, it may be X. There we go. No, yeah. Meryl, Bane, Bura. Bura. Oh, Bura. Sounds like Bura. I think yeah, you Bura. slowed it down too much. What? The left and right arrows. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. How would you phonetically... Meryl, Bane, Bura. 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 Brew. I think brew. It should, it should get... Well, I don't know. Well, it didn't. Brew? Any suggestions for Baru? Home, the home isn't Bera. great, but I'm not sure if that's because of... Bera. There's no enter, is there? No, we have to fix the home first. Let's go go X. And home? Yeah, maybe do spaces to go to the next line. There. Yeah. Home. Home. Ho. Home. Let's just try it normally. Do you think it would know homebrew as a... Uh... Let's try... Oops. Well, you didn't... Let's try it. No, it doesn't like the O. So, I have to figure out home. Any suggestions? Brew? Oh, B-R-O-O, -O. yep. Brew? You, you, yeah. you can't go back, so you have to erase. We have to work on home first. Oh, we don't have to, I guess. Yeah, that's oh, better. That that's sounds pretty better. Good. Yeah. One more O. One more O. Brew? Yeah, we need it longer. Yeah, brew. Brew. Yeah, I like it. Okay, we have to work on home now. So you can either... Yeah. So go back and correct home. Home? 
Hum? Hum? Oh, B-R-U-E. We can try that after and see if that's better, but the brew is pretty good. We need suggestions for home. Hom. That might work. Try it. No, don't put in brew. That's true. You're just going to have to erase it over and over again. Hum. 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 Slightly better, but... Rome. Rome? Rome brew? <laughs> Rome brew? Maybe. I don't know. Home. So does it just speak and spell? There are no games with it? No, this is just... Just what it is. It just speaks. No games. Rome. It, it, it's it's not doing the O. Maybe the long two O's. O. That's oh, it. Maybe, maybe. H-O-O. -O. Yeah. It's not doing a long O. Home. H-O-U-G-M. Ooh, that's mm. a good one. Let's try two O's first, try then we'll try that O's. one. Hume. Whom. 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 No. Ho. H-O-W? Home? Mm. Home. Well, let's try the H-O-U-G-H. Home. That's a good one. <laughs> hum. Hum. It sounds sounded the same as before. As this kind of reminds me for the speech for the TI-99 foray. I think it's like a very general... Hum. 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 Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Might not have that long O sound. Ho M H O E. Yeah. Ho. Ho. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like that. Ho. So the speak speak jet chip. No. No, it doesn't like the long O. Ho. Ho. Try three O's. Try just three H O O O. Hugh, no. Hmm. Three O's. Whom? Whom? Uh, let's try. Did we try that? No. Hume. Why is it a U? Hume. Hume. Try H A O M. Ohm? Home. Like moan? Home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Rome. Home. Well, it's not Rome. Rome, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. Ham. I think you should let everyone here request a word or phrase of the truth. Yeah. <laughs> after you figure out home. Yeah. Then we'll do that. It's, it's not too bad. The brew we definitely got, Brew's though. fine. Yeah. Try three O's. You haven't done that yet. Keep ignoring me. Oh, well, no. There's people people out <laughs> making all kinds of requests here. Home. I don't think it'll work, though. Hum. 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 Why is it a U? Uh, the speak jet is a completely self-contained, single-chip voice and complex sound th synthesizer. It uses mathematical sound I algorithm to control an internal... <laughs> Five-channel sound synthesizer to generate on-the-fly unlimited vocabulary, speech synthesis, and complex sounds. <laughs> SpeechJet is pre-configured with 72 speech elements, allophones. So it's got 72 of them. Mm. One of them should be O. O is a very common thing. Ho. Ohm. Oh, that's a good one. Just forget the H. Ohm. Ooh. Ohm. Pretend it's British. Ohm. Let's go Ohm. That might work. Good job, Captain Classic. Oh. <laughs> no, it doesn't like the long O. It, um, it, um. Just O. O, O, O. Try just O. What does it say for O? Or just Lero, one O? A, just one O. Ooh. O. Oh, is it O? Is it doing O? Ooh, ooh? it's, yeah. No, just one O. <gasps> oh! One O is good. Oh, okay, so. Try O M. Ohm. No, let's do O space M. M. Same M. O M. That's close to home. 
O.M. Brew. That's true. <laughs> O.M. Brew. I supposed to says. Well, he she should know. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's good. That's good, actually. That's. Home. Yeah, that's better. O M brew. O space M brew. So put... how did we do brew before? B R. R O O O. R. Okay. Because it wants to do. That's pretty good. That's o -M pretty. O M brew. O M brew. Uh, it's closest. It's the closest we've gotten so far. Just try O. Save that one. Yeah. Oh, no ho? No, but the ho. No H. Because oh, it did O. Ho, me. but it does ho. It's just, it, get, it, it creates oh. two, um, but it's the only way to get the O. Try Nathan's suggestion. What's Nathan's? What oh, you, it? oh, he just typed it at the end of a sentence. H-O. Home. Home. Yes, try that. Yeah. Home. Don't have to erase it. You can just go to the next line. No, no, I'll erase it. Okay. Ho, H. HM. Are you playing along at home? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> oh. um, but, no, it doesn't but, do the it, long O. No. You have to do ho. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Ho. I wonder if I just do this. Ooh, home. yeah. That's that really works. good. That's better. That's uh, the best so far. And then B R O O. -R. Yeah, I think yes. that's as close as we're gonna get. We One got more it. time. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I we like got it. it. Whoop. Save in number two. Okay, now we will take your suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, try to keep it PG. Yes. <laughs> um, maybe let's just. Uh, oh yeah, B seventeen bomber. Nice one. Mm. Clear. Because that's a uh, uh, in television. Uh, Is game. there? There's no. I have to seventeen. Oh, no I have to write seventeen. That's okay. Oh boy. Uh, B and and to get it perfect, it has to be B like three E's. But we'll see how it sounds. Yeah, it was a um, a television game. And um, oh, is that the is that the is that the um. Guitar, uh, Intellivoice add-on oh. for the Intellivision and um, Anger Video Game Nerd made a made a video about the Intellivision Intellivoice and he kept saying that over again B-17 bomb because <laughs> it's got kind of a uh, uh, an ac a southern accent bomber <laughs> nice. I don't know if that's because of the chip or because they programmed it to sound no mm. bomb bear and you'd have to add a bunch of E's at the beginning. Because it's just too short of a B. Mm. That's why you have to do it one thing at a time. Oh, yes. Would you like to play a game? Oh, yes. Speak. No. Wait till, it, t wait till we know it's good before you type everything out and then have to erase B. it. B. See it? Again? Yep. B. Yep. That's really good. 17 was okay. It was the bomber. Yeah, you have to do it more phonetically. Oh, does it do okay over the line? We'll yeah, find it out. it seems to. See if it's going to go 7T and then N. Bomber. Speak the it B, first, it said the... Just in case. B, yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, we're going to have to drop the pitch, though. B17 bomber. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's better than two. bomber. It 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 put, would try, put the B in. Try a bunch of M's, two M's. Bomb, bomb or bomber. Bomber. It's kind of like the accent. It's bomber. I see. It doesn't do the long ah. O. Ah, it's oh B A W, M, bomber. That's better than the Intellivoice already. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what Nathan Strom. B A W M B E R. We'll try this one. No. Um, there's no B though, right? Bomber. Oh yeah, I forgot the M. <laughs> yep. Oh. 
Oh. Didn't need to do that. Um, bomber. The seventeen bomber. Bomber. Bammer. Bammer. Bomber. Maybe more E's. Bammer. More W. What am I saying? Oh. W's. More M's. Yes. Bomb. Mer. Bomber. Might have to go two words. The seventeen bomber. It's not bad. Yeah. Okay. Lower the pitch. How do I lower it? Um, I can't remember if it's. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. 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 There. Good. Yes. Good. The seventeen bomber. I don't like that bomber. That's not bad. Maybe just. Yes. 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 Sounds like he's getting more and more bored. The seventeen bomber. 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 Good enough. Can go way high. Okay, I'm going to say that one. Okay. And then clear, and then we're going to do ET phone home. No, 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 no. There's a better one. There's a better one. No, I can't see it. Why can't the up arrows... Why is there no scroll? There it is. Oh, it's there. You squish it. Can you do it? Yes, I, it's too far for me. Uh, nope. Down, down. There. Would you like to play a game? Oh. From uh, War Games. Oh, thank you, RC70. Would. Mm. I. I don't think it knows words. Well. No, well, it doesn't. No. Just would. W O O D or W U D? Mude. No. W U D. Yeah, because this is what I had to do on the C64 with Sam. Uh -huh. Would. Yeah, yep. that's better. Two U's might be better. No. No. I Why do you? That. I think we'll try U. It might know some words. We'll see. Would ya? Nope. Would ya? <laughs> Would ya is good enough. <laughs> sure. Would ya? Uh, L Y K. L Y? Try I first. Like. L I. I can't even find the L. They're in alphabetical order. I, mean, I know, but it it's simple. like it's like a. It's not QWERTY. No, it's not QWERTY. Like. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's got a bit of an accent. Would you like? Well, Arena Foot is is Would from. Like he's, he's got an accent, right? Right, Arena Foot. Because everybody thinks they don't have an accent. Well, uh, yeah, I don't <laughs> think I have an accent, but. Well, we do. We it's do. Just, it's just a very boring accent. <laughs> it's a boring Canadian accent. <laughs> Doesn't. Uh, the like do play. <gasps> That's good. What do you like to play? Hey, Professor Falcon, would you like to play a game? Spike is samples, like in Televoice. Ah. Yeah, Spike, I think Spike is samples. What do you like to play a game? Yay! What do you like to play a game? Game? Oh, yeah, nice. the question mark. Nice. And we'll do the last one. Wait, e higher, Fama. lower, higher, lower? Um, It's higher. I think I've hit the max. Oh. <laughs> what do you like to play that game? Nice. Saving for and ET phone home. Cat. And that will I don't be know. the last one. E okay. Yep. That's a good one. Eat. No. Eat. Mm. T E E. E D. Yes. It's very fast. <laughs> Let's see if it gets phone. Oh, I'm Arena Foot use... says yes, a Cajun accent from Louisiana. Nice. Yeah. E D. Fun. 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 Uh, fun. Or should I? Well, it, they did. It did make an F. F N E. Fun. Fo. Phone. Fo. F O N E. F O N E. F. 
Yeah, but the f was fine. E -E -N. F fun, fun, it's fun, fun. So fo. Yeah, but you don't need the f. It's the o. <laughs> it's always the o. That's the problem. <laughs> it does have trouble with o's. Try just f o. Maybe it knows f o. It might be e -E letter. Yeah. See, that's yeah, fine. it doesn't it's like letter combinations. Fo. N. No, try try an n. E -E -O -N. Phone. You can put it together. E -E -O -N. No, I, when you put it together, that's when it it, it modifies the. Try, uh, try with just an n. E T F N. E T F N. E T F N. It's not quite an O. Yeah. Ugh. E T O. Fo. Fo's that's good. how you get the fo. Uh, an e T O. That's phone. Fine. That's good enough. It's a bit weird, but it's better. Home. This is more fun than I thought it would be. Because he used a speak and spell in in the um Really? In the movie. Interesting, because they would have spelled it properly. I wonder what they would have yeah. F hum. 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 Ugh. Yeah. What is the secret to the O's? <laughs> Isn't that how we did yours? Yeah, home. home. E -E -O -N -O -M. M. Hmm. Just an bad. M. Just an M. Did we just do an M? Maybe. No, I think we did O M. E -E -O -N -O -M. Ooh, that yep. worked. That's pretty good. E -E -O -N -O -M. There's just there's gaps, but. It's good. Not bad. Awesome. Not bad. Oh no! Oh, you didn't say. Oh, we're, we're full. No, I couldn't. Don't, we are full. Don't, 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 don't save it. Don't I'm not, save. I'm not saving anything. Okay, let's listen to all of them now. Okay. Don't. Did you just save that? I one? didn't save anything. Get out of the S's. <laughs> Get out of the S's. You need to calm Freak down. Me out. <laughs> you need to calm down. <laughs> you go. Yeah. Nice. nice. Excellent. Hi, like kids. That's so much fun. <sighs> That's very cool. <laughs> and I'm guessing that it's actually saving them? Or is it saving it in memory? Because it is the Atari Vox, so it should have it set aside. I don't know. Let's see. Hold down the button here. Atari Vox. <laughs> I don't know I when I'll get used to that. <laughs> Take a little while. Hope it remembers. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, do you have an Atari Vox? 55.6% people said yes, they have one or more. Nice. Uh, that's the winner. Number two, I don't have one but want one. 44.4%. Mm -hmm. And zero people do not want one. <laughs> yeah. So everybody either has one or wants one. That's right. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next uh, game. Or the first game. That's not really a game. Uh, Man Goes Down um, by Alex Herbert. Very fun. Oh, I'm going to have to get used to that now. I'm so used to the Atari What does it say Vox. after? It said Atari something. Atari Vox Plus. No, it says something after. Really? When you're talking, yeah. Oh, no. We'll no. listen to it next time. I don't think so. Yeah, it went bleh or something. It also has a tone at the beginning. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, why is it so bloody small? What is? Oh, okay. It's not the right size. Okay. Load up, man goes down, please. Yep, that's the one. Man goes down. Man goes down. This has some of the most amazing music of any Atari 2600 games. That's pretty nice. I don't think I've played this game, have I? Maybe? I can't remember, I don't, Last it's time not we played any bells. Last time we played it was June 15th, 2018. Run, 
run, run, run, run, run. Oh, uh, maybe I watched. I think you played it. You have to get those oh. cherries. <laughs> cool. Uh, run, run, run. Can't go up off the screen. You can't go down off the screen. That was risky. Well, you said you had to get the cherries. Uh, may the force be with you. May the force be with you. Yeah, but you oh, don't have to get the cherries, but that's the goal. You get points for them. Cool. Um, you let one too close. <laughs> that was too close. It was close. <laughs> How did it know? It knows. Um, this was first posted July 9th, 2004. This build is from March 31st, 2006. It's a 16K F6 oh. game. Um, we last played it June 15th, 2018. So shortly after we started doing the show. Um, this is the first game to support the Atari Vox and Alex also wrote on the, also wrote the Atari Vox's, uh, programmer's guide. Oh, um, Tan? Tan? Um, may the fruits be with you. Be with you. Ah. See, I'll, I'll show you how to do some, some more things when I get Can you to jump? It. No, you can't jump, but I you can so. wait for the last second and then wait for a good platform to go from. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, is this the same Alex Herbert that did the Vectrex games too? Um, and Nathan Strum says yes. I like what MGD says for second place. Oh, we'll have to get second place. If you think that's addictive, try Revenge's speak Speakalator app to develop phrases for it. Mm. Ooh. I don't know what that said. <laughs> this game says a lot of things. Oh, oh you got it. Pineapple. Pineapple. Mango. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why? Uh, it says, yep, man goes down. Now has speech courtesy of Richard Hutchinson's el excellent Atari Vox module. The Atari Vox also stores the preferred display mode at the top and the top five scores with players' initials. The high score table is only available when Atari Vox is attached, though. Not enough RAM to hold the high scores and run the game. For some strange reason, the high score table does show up in Z26, though. Not right with the joystick port emulation, methinks, but it doesn't work right, of course. It runs correctly in Stella. And unfortunately, this game was never finished. Um, Alex Herbert had some sort of uh, medical issue. Oh, no. And he just there. never came back to programming. Um, he's still around, but... Oh, that's good to know. I thought you were going to say, no, and he never got her. No. no, he's still around, but he just, he doesn't come on the, the forums. No. He doesn't post, unfortunately. He was very, um... In the early 2000s? Very prominent? Yeah. Mango. Mango's down. <laughs> ah! Oh, no! I didn't quite There's get little, the... little I dots there. caught around the edge, yeah. Third place, Mango. Mango. Alex's limited edition Mango. Vectrex game, Protector Ellie, has spikes goes down as, as an Easter egg. egg. Oh. I have Protector. Protector. I do not have Protector. Mm. No. Run, run. I'm gonna run. get some more wine. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Very fun, very simple. Um, simple in concept, not in, oh my god. Not in execution. <laughs> Game over. Great little sayings. And a great demonstration for the Atari Vox. Some of the phrases are really short, so you can, can't really. Air, air. So what you do is wait up here for enough room. And I believe this game oh, it. crashes at some point. But I've never made it to that point, so I'm still having fun with it. Run, 
run, run. Taurus? Time for more booze for me too, RC70 <laughs> says. <laughs> Cheers, RC70. Oops, I'm just rushing. Can you move it to the right, please? It's all about how much ROM you want to use for frames. Run, run, run. Oh no, that's far away. Can I make it? Oh, he's not floaty enough. It's okay, because it's just the first fruit. Oh, just slipped through. Nice one on platforms. Yeah. Sound like a cat, yes. Mango. Mango. <laughs> what is that? Oh, a hero. How long oh he get? said something hero, because that's like <gasps> How long do you have it for? I think forever until you touch a platform. What? Really? Yep. Which is <gasps> kind of hard to do hard to avoid like that. Well yeah, you can't you can't get it. Oh, see, yeah. Yeah. So it's there good. But you can't get any. Oh, I was waiting for it to be first, second place. Sorry. I think he well, said you'll first get it next place. Time. I think he said first place loser. <laughs> Zero pay, Chumbrew. Yeah, I'm just putting you in A because that's easiest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, A. Oh, okay. I'm like, may the fruit be with you. May the fruit be with you. Ooh. Yeah, because there's a helicopter in Hero, the game Hero. Mm. So I think he said something Hero. Mm. Oh no! It's too far away, I think. Oh, I got it. Oof. Just. Mango. Mango. First of the what? Losers. Losers, I was right, yeah. What is that? Heavy man. Oh, oh, you're heavier. I don't know if I want to be heavier. I don't know. I don't think I want to be heavier. <laughs> oh, you have to get it. Do you? Yep. Damn it. Ah, oh, missed it. Now it's fast, and it's going to be even harder to get things. Nope. I hunger. I hunger? Where? I hunger? hunger? The fruit is with you. The fruit is with you. <laughs> nice. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Of course, all my high scores are on my other Atari box now. That's what he also says. <laughs> no, my, all my... All my high scores are on the other Atari box. <laughs> my world record. <laughs> that was beaten for... Um... um uh, uh, wall jump ninja. Mm. It's on the other Atari box. There's no way to transfer them. The fruit be with you. Rom or rum. <laughs> rum, or rum. Mm. Dangerous. Ooh. The animation seems unnaturally smooth. Yeah, I mean, it's quite you, lovely. Actually. You have 60 frames to work I, with, I, so I, it's I, actually can be smoother than a movie. Because movies only run at 24 frames mm -hmm. a second. And TV's 30. And uh, The Hobbit, Peter Jackson's The Hobbit, was 48 and people were complaining about that. So you do, if you can do it fast enough um, and have enough uh, ROM to store all the frames of animation, you can actually get 60 smooth frames of animation. Oof, two in a row. First of the losers. <laughs> oh, you tied my score. Packrat VG wants to know this is a fun game. So, what wasn't finished in the game? An ending or what? I don't know. It just doesn't get to the end. I remember. I don't remember seeing it posted. What wasn't finished? But mm. somebody the last time we played it um, talked about mm. the crash. What what crashes in it mm. after a bit? Um, but you haven't hit the crash. 
They must be pretty far down. Nowhere near. There's so many more fruit and things after this. Oh. So, we, so it still seems like a pretty complete and game in that then. case. Yeah, there's some people that can definitely make it to the further than me. <laughs> Way further. Many, many fruits passed. Where's the fruits? Why am I so heavy? Oh, you know why you need to get all those? Mm. Because it starts moving too fast. And it's, you, it doesn't too slow floaty. you down? You're too floaty. Oh. Like, you'll just go off the screen. Right? I'm barely... Oh, but sometimes you move a little too fast. Nice. <laughs> Can everybody hear the sound effects? Is it loud enough? Yeah, that that is awesome. I didn't know the Atari Vox could do uh it can do music. D2 sound effects. They can do music. But wow. um, very few people use it for music because if somebody doesn't have an Atari Vox, mm. the game's going to be really quiet, right? I said it's a little quiet, but it's probably because it's coming over the um, over the mic, right? No, it's not coming over. Oh the mic. no, really? It's plugged into the mixer. Can I turn it up or? Uh, I don't know which knob it is. We'll have to test it out. Okay, in a I'll play when I'm playing. You can. Yeah. I'll try to. Well, it'd be actually, we should put it back on back. the speak and spell. Yes. We'll go back. Mango. And speak and spell. That's my favorite so far. Mango is awesome. Come on, come on. Heavy man. No. Do you want to flip to the speaking spell? Or do you want to? Over. Yes. Okay. Hold it down. Yep. Mm. Ready. Ready. That's what he says. Mm. Very nice. Okay, so just yeah, load a long one. Meryl, Ah, Al said he won't release Man Goes Down on cart until the author declares it done. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, tape input. Meryl, Just keep saying it. Meryl, I can talk. Am I too loud? Am I coming through at all? Talk louder. I'm trying to talk louder. <laughs> Good. Okay. I found the knobs. Good stuff. Check, check. Check, 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 check. Seems good, people are saying. Excellent. Good. It's a little bit louder now. Excellent. Okay. So. Let's go back to the other game. I love it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm holding MB. <laughs> it's so hot. Now. Ready. 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 Does that mean I can remove my thumb from the button? Yes, actually. That is excellent. That's a good uh, indicator that you can yep. stop holding it. <sighs> Land going down. May the fruit be with you. Love it. Is that better, everyone? Now? Oh, it's nice and cool. Oh. R70, why do you have to hold the button? Um, if you don't, then you can't control what's on the screen. Uh, yes, that is the. Some kind of trigger, I guess. Simple reason. Is it? If, it's because we are using a. Uh, Genesis controller. Oh. And if you don't hold down the button, Genesis controllers, I believe, get recognized as paddles. And paddles can control the menu, but a joystick thinking it's a paddle cannot control the menu. So you have to hold down the button, which... Um, which makes it know that it is a joystick. Um, so that's why we have to constantly hold down the button, because I like Genesis controllers. <laughs> For, uh, uh, uh. Oh, get too far down. oh, oh you, you still got it. Oh, and you, then you do died. still have it. Oh, okay. That's good. I'm not going to put a score in. 
Okay, so I have much higher scores. No points. May the earth oh. be with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, wrecking it for you. Uh, RC70 is, I've always wondered that. Yeah, because I would say, hold down the button, hold down the button. People are like, why do you have to hold down the button? Mm -hmm. It's very strange. Yeah, if you just have a regular joystick with one button, you don't have to do anything. So it's, it's totally the Genesis fine. controller that's the problem. It's the Genesis controller that's I getting recognized as a paddle. Mango. Um, and I always use Genesis controller. <laughs> Whoa, 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 you have to push the button. Yes. Yeah. Things that are good to know. <laughs> Sorry. So apparently you can land on the platform. I would do that. So it's, it's probably a time. It runs out. You think so? It ran for a long time, though, last time, so... Land go. go. So you... What Whoa! are you doing? <laughs> it just it just got too much momentum. Plummeting. Too much momentum down. Good though. Oh the death sound reminds me of the Anki Cosmo robot. My kid loved it for a minute. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is it a toy, I guess? Oh, robot. Well, whatever we can do to uh, um, distract your kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, I think the, the kid loved the toy for a minute. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, flash in the pan. Um, yeah, fun for a Christmas. Yeah. You know, it's the hot toy for that Christmas. I haven't heard of it though. Well, we don't have kids, so that's probably why. That's true. <laughs> Came out a few years ago. They're done now. Gotcha. Not done now. It's all mm. done. They got their money. We were watching something on, was it YouTube? And uh -huh. it was like every year's. Oh, yes. Um, hot toy. Hot toy. Man. Best selling Best selling toy. toy. Which very was, interesting. was very interesting because it started way back in like the 70s. And then I started man. not recognizing the toys in the 90s. Like, well, I, don't know. I recognized the toys some in the 90s, oh. but the 2000s. It's only some of them. I didn't. Only a few of them, really. And then now I know Damn some it. of them from ah! our niece, like our niece. Well, my nieces and nephews because they're younger. Yeah, but run, there was the gap run, in the run. early 2000s where I had no nieces and nephews and yes. we don't have kids. And, and so the 2000s, I didn't recognize any of the toys that came out. So yeah. kind of interesting. But also interesting, <laughs> the trends and like the what robotic toys yeah. um, in the 2000s really took off. Yes, because it just got cheap enough, I guess. Yeah. And trendy enough. Well, yeah. no, it's it just cheap enough because like, like even the cruder ones were very popular, you know. And, and, and the Tamagotchis the, were one, well, that one was year. a while. That was a while back. But that's yeah. yeah. That's not two thousand. No, no. Eight year old. But um, but just just kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, the oh. side of one. Okay, well that's good to know. <laughs> it's good to know. Good to know. Oh, I lost everything. <gasps> everything. Ah! Yep, because I hit the side. Because I lost it. No. Run, run, run. Because I started over. It went back to cherries. No, it, it always it goes always back. Goes yeah, back to it's cherries. always cycling back. Oh, okay. Yeah. What are they saying? Uh, and, and I just remembered that robot reminded me of the sound the devil's I, make I, in I, Devil yeah. Dice, which was an awesome game I had for PS. Hmm. Mm. We'll move on after this because this game's too fun. <laughs> it is fun. It'll take I forever. want to see you get a little further. But, uh, yeah, so Mango. do I. The chair's in the way right now. I miss the days when you used to have, you know, recorded oh, ringtones you. on your phone. Mine would be Mango. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. You'd be changing it right after this. Yeah. I still want destroy him by robots as my as my notification on my phone. Oh yeah. Oh it's a little it's a little um Day floaty. Walker. Floaty, yeah. Definitely. Okay, are we good for this? Yeah, sure. Unless yep. you want to keep playing, but I do. Uh... Oh, we can't. Okay, <laughs> keep going. Keep pushing. Pushing through. <laughs> Because we will Ready. be on it forever. It's just too fun. Mm -hmm. Um so the next game we're gonna be playing is Juno first. Um, I do have the box here, but I think we have the, what is that? Mm. Click-o, there you go. <laughs> um, 
but we do have the final one, so I, I don't want to open the box. So okay. Um, so save key card found. So this one in the arcade does not have voices. I believe they did add it to this one because it says Juno first. No scores. Boo. I want to make sure we're on the right settings. Yeah. Okay. Why does it say Wave 32? I don't know. And this Juno also has incredible first. music. Yeah. Wave 32. Yeah. Why is it on Wave 32? <laughs> are we on black and white? Oh, we are on black and white. Okay. You probably don't want to be on Wave 32. Not particularly. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Juno my goodness. First. Nice. Wave 1. Wave 1. Oh, nobody can see it. There we go. Sorry. That will help. We don't see the game screen. Show the game. I was supposed to have got five out of 12 items. Yeah, very poor performance. I apologize. <laughs> uh, Juno 1st, uh, 2009 by Chris Walton, a.k.a. CDW. First posted about January 15th, 2006. Uh, size is 32K. F4. Way too. Way too. Other games by CDW, Boom, uh, uh, Chattery, uh, Hunchy, Hunchy 2, Jetman 1K, Juno First, Lumens, and Night Rider. This game is available in the Atari Age Store and in the forums. The final version. So, another. Um, I believe you do have to go forward. I do? Oh! Oh yeah, I have played this. Game. Pick up things. That guy. That guy. Don't let him get away. You're get it. Uh, pick him up. I heard now you can shoot, shoot, shoot with, without being feared of getting shot at for a little bit. I remember playing this game. Now I forgot yes. about the moving forward. We did play this. Um, so the first blog entry for June first. Um, this there's been some discussion on these blogs lately about good arcade game support to the 2600. In particular, Manuel Port, uh, posted a list of obscure titles in his Planet Bob blog. Since I hadn't heard most of them, I decided to fire up Name and try them out. Uh, try them out on my new X Arcade Wayster. Uh, the game which I enjoyed the most is probably Juno First, which is a bit like vertically scrolling version of Defender. I'm surprised this game is more popular as it seems very similar to the classic Williams games. It is great fun to play. It looks a lot, looks like Juno First Port would be the possible on the 2600 with a bit of effort, as it's not too graphically demanding. As noted elsewhere, the game plays a bit like Beam Rider, which we've been playing quite a bit. Uh, you can't move backwards, and you are fixed at a particular speed. As a result, I decided to hack up a quick kernel which uses a beam rider style Wait, display, wait. but enables you to change speed. The result is attached to this entry. Yeah, beam rider, you can't change the speed. No. This forward is uh, the, the uh, missile. Oh, that was close. It's like Erlen playing Chaotic Grill. They say that means uh, you're really good. Really <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Actually, I have played this game before. Yeah. So I I I really enjoyed playing it last time. Oh yeah. yeah. I think we played it last for a high score challenge. But I take that as a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. did. We did well, a high score challenge. You're just naturally naturally good at it. Oh, I just like it. It's a good game. Ah 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 ah! Don't let it get off. Fuel. Fuel. Uh -oh. Fuel. Fuel. How do I get fuel? fuel? I think you have to finish the fuel. level. Oh shit. Crash. Yeah, I remember this now. Uh, I remember Ten, this. you can go forward and backwards too. Yeah. Okay. Can't even see the game in the background reflection. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a very dark game. Somebody was talking about um, the constant. Oh, now the bullets follow you. Yeah, I hate that. I remember this. Uh, I'm remembering it all now. Talking about backgrounds in Atari games, in the original like, run of Atari games, 
and that you couldn't use a black background unless it was a space game. These are games made by the Target. Um, for a reasoning why Pac-Man had a balloon background for the maze instead of the arcade game. Having a black background. And one of the reasons was that it wasn't a space game, so you weren't allowed to do it. I know. I know you do. you can hold it. Oh, for... Two left. Oh, there's more. Do you get to... Do you finish the wave if you kill them before the next part goes up? I don't think so. Let's kill them. Whoa! Blue guys! I decided to hack up a quick kernel, which is a Beam Rider style display, but an Azure of changed speed. The result is so attached to this entry, and I think it gives a good feeling of motion. I was rather surprised to see that Super Cat also you posted a Juno First Kernel to his blog. Oh, damn. You get to save it. Uh, his solution uses the ball sprite to draw a dotted play area, which is more faithful to the original game. I haven't decided if I want to take this any further yet, but I think the two versions should provide a good starting point for discussion of the best approach for the 2600. And he did finish it. And it came out on cartridge in a box because it's awesome. Tob. You know, first. Wave seven. Wave hmm. seven? Did I continue? You might have. I don't want to continue. No. Because that's not. That's terrible. not fair. You know, first. Wave one. <laughs> I must not have oh. That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Does this game use armor? Uh, I, no, it Wave doesn't. One. It was... I'm gonna reset. Yeah. I think it was 16k? Uh... 30... 32k F4. I just forget what that signifies. Um... No, the name for it. Uh... You know first. Wave one. Architecture, no. Structure, no. There's a word for it, where it's the, the way you um, put the memory together. Oh, oh I missed it. The way then. Oh, you shot it? Can you shoot it? I can't I remember. Didn't sh Maybe you can yeah, shoot you it. Yeah, you did shoot it. Oh. I, don't know if, I don't know if that was it or the way then. I think the way then. Yeah. Way two. Oh, no, I didn't. I think I shot it. But now I'm on way two. Such a great way to portray enemies, like in the top, tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh, I love it. I love the scrolling too, and the fact that you can scroll backwards. So good. There comes a point where you're like, should I scroll back, or should I just like try to clear up one side and then go and do the other side? I tactics. Oh, because if you it. scroll backwards, they that's what up. happens. Yeah. They come up from behind. So. And then if you start leaving things behind, then you don't want to scroll back because then you Wait, run the risk of accidentally running into something. So it's a really neat game. Damn it. It's a really neat gameplay. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, if you do watch the top, you can tell where they are behind you. Oh. Because they scroll from the top back. Okay. But it's Jesus. still kind of hard to judge. Level. Second. Not good. It's a terrible you, game. You got through the first few waves really quickly, so. Yeah. Died way too many. I'm gonna play you again. Know I'm terrible. Her. Wave three? Wave, wave three? three? I'm just getting too um... It's weird that we played this game and the moment you're like, oh you can scroll and I was like, oh yeah, I remember this game. <laughs> it took the scrolling for me to like Trigger. I okay. Wave one. You started off. No, it's not. Way too many. Jesus. You you didn't start at wave one. Oh, that's okay. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. You definitely get your wave points back four. faster. Like on the higher waves. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah if you watch the top. You can shoot them like right away at the top. 
to go with the pattern. Yeah. And the key is when they materialize, it's not to be scrolling, because that's when they'll just run right into you. I er a. That was, that really was close. very close. Going way too fast. Wave five. There oh, we you're go. Doing well, now. Sorry, but, well, now they're all scattered at the top. They're yeah, no it's pain in the bum. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was my. Oh. And it killed me. Oh, see, that's Thanks. why. That's why uh, scrolling back is not usually a. I er a. Fun, fun game. This is a yes. really fun game. <laughs> it lasts very long. No. I oh. love. Oh, here it is. Bad baddies. So, like in this game, you don't need the Atari box to play it, it just adds to it. Mm -hmm. You have to think about that if you're going to use the Atari box in a game, that you don't want to be Way reliant big. upon it. Unless it's like, like you really like, like you really want to make it part of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, but then you run the risk of alienating a bunch of people from playing it, because they don't have, like, half the people here don't have Atari boxes, right? This is the tracking level. Not fun. much on the screen and you risk a lot by going backwards because you inevitably have to let things go past you. You can kind of control how many things are on the screen which is kind of nice mm -hmm. but also I'm going to <laughs> So you still have to get them all. Yeah, good job. Wave 7. Oh, damn it. What? <gasps> Thanks. <laughs> How's that fair? You My turn. Failed. Oh, second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's because I started higher level. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you can select it. Oh, oh okay. You know first. You know first. Uh, also, Atari wanted their games to show color graphics since it was with many TV games and TVs were black and white. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense, that they want to use as many colors as possible. Oh, come oh. on! It's still up there. Yeah. Should we get it before the wave's over? I don't know. It's the second part to this wave, I believe. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, he ran away! Um, yeah, yeah a lot of the screensavers... Oh, that was the end of the wave. It was. A lot of the one. screensavers uh, on the games had a lot of had a lot of color cycling for the background, so they really did push the, uh, the big colors. Uh, RC70, no, it does not use ARM. 32K F4. I er a. I think we get more points in hyperspace for killing them. I don't know. At least they don't shoot it. Yeah. Briefly. Yeah. And I think it, it becomes more important Way than three. For, the sh for the shooting. Good job. I called a beam rider practice. I think Helps. you're right. I, I think, think you're right. I think this is a little easier than beam rider. Because you can control what's on the screen so much easier. Oh, it's really cool. Beam Rider, it's like, it's just coming after you. Oh, I saw that coming. Shifted a little too, oh, jeez. A little too fast there. F4 is, oh, what's the name of that? It's the way the memory is arranged. Please, programmers, rescue me. Uh, and bank, the bank, bank scheme, banking scheme. Memory banking scheme. 
Um, it's the way that memory is arranged and how to access it, and there's different ways. Because you, the, the Atari 2600 can only access up to 4K at a time. Um, because of okay. where the pins are on the 6507. Um, so, with different architectures, you are able to switch banks um, by triggering certain Wait, memory I... locations, um, or writing to them, writing to certain memory locations. Um, so you can say, okay, I want to store this part of the game or these graphics in this 4K bank, but now I need to go to another part of the ROM. So, and and so there's like a couple dozen different banks, bank uh, switching schemes. Um, and F4 is one of them. And, uh, and depending on how much ROM you need, um, that also dictates which type of bank switching scheme you'll have to use. And F4 goes up to at least 32K. But I'm not the one to talk about this, so I don't want to overstep my knowledge, but I think I got all of that right. I'm sure somebody will correct me. And they should. <laughs> Pretty sure I got it. He's tracking missiles. Ah! Whoa! Moving way too fast there. Yeah. Way too fast. It is good fast. that you can go fast if you want to or need to. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. No more shots. Especially on this level, it's really good. Yeah, sort of. Because there's so many of them, it doesn't last long enough. Very short. It's close. Oh my god. There's so many of them! Oh my god. I'm do this without running out of fuel. This is like Defender, but vertical. Yeah. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so, so dead. You got about two seconds. Oh, oh, oh so close! Oh. Awesome. I'm on really you. Close. Wave seven. Nice. Oh, I have more, more score than I did last time, actually. Yeah, you must have got a lot of bon bonus in the, uh, um, on the previous waves. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is... Ah, 46 beat my last score, so. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it play that sound? That you got is first. So. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a bad sound. Yeah, it's I guess. Laughing at you. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. <gasps> there you go. Oh my god. Oh, just beat it. I have to do much better. <laughs> oh no, it's on wave 7 again. <laughs> wave 7. Oh, no, not wave 7. Go back and oh, fire to play. So if it's fire to play. Yeah. Wave 1. Very, very funny. Oh my god. We did play a lot when it was the. Uh, yeah. I don't know how we how well we did when we did the competition. Jesus, no. <laughs> um. I actually think this I might be better at this game you than he is. Wave one. So far. So far. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. This is a really fun game. There's sort of a list of games that I could play a lot of, and this is on that list. Sure. I sure. Yes. Sure. Very fun, very fast, Wave two. very dynamic. I mean, Beam Rider in this very, very similar, kind of go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Almost got the patch in that. Oh, yeah. Very close. You were getting there. You, what, 35,000 you got? Yes, 35, you, you were trying 000. to get to 40? Oh, there it is. Very close. That was very close. Come on. Rage reset, yes. Nathan Strunk's very yes. exciting now. <laughs> <laughs> Rage reset. When I die in the first level, that's just uh, not allowed. Not allowed. That's definitely not allowed. <laughs> that's just a waste of my time. Yeah. Right, let's get that. Did they come up from the bottom, or do they only come when you back up? Mm -hmm. 
If the enemies can they yeah. climb up? I don't the bottom? think so. I think they back they up. I think they're. I think up. they are moving forward, and you have to back up into. Wait them. for. Okay. Yeah. If that makes sense. Oh, that does make sense. Yeah. They only move forward. They only towards move forward you. towards you. Yeah. That makes it that's good. So nobody can see. Where's my extra hyperspace? Oh, there we go. Damn it! That's where you get points. In the hyperspace? I think so. Where do you get points? It's all about tracking them from the top Wait, and being there when they appear. I cannot play this game calmly. Like you're Probably. talking and I'm just like intense. It's I find it very intense. It's it's you're you're intense. you're controlling everything oh and you don't want to you and there's momentum which I think is what makes this game really beautiful. There is yes. Is that there's momentum so you oh, speed you up and you can't quickly. quickly stop. So you're you're if you suddenly speed up you're you have to be very careful that you're negotiating <laughs> the paths between these spa these ships or you're gonna collide and. Die. Oh, damn oh, it. Like yes. that. <laughs> but I think that's what makes it a really beautiful game to play is the momentum and the movement of, of yeah, it feels the more scrolling real. is really cool. It's really, really cool. And very smooth. Yeah. So who developed this game? Uh, CDW, Chris Walton, who is uh, Wait, one, Vic. is the C in CDFJ. Um, uh, he developed... Uh, Bank switching architecture for the arm. God oh, damn it! Okay. I died again. But bullets rolled off. So C, uh, mm. C Chris Walton, uh, D Daryl Spice Jr. Gotcha. F. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, Nathan Strom is saying. Um, so RC seventy says. It. I oh, think they. You, man. Um. RC seventy says, "I think they come up from the bottom at later levels, oh, no. and they'll come up from behind later." Nathan Strom oh, says, no. "So yeah, you get to a certain level. I mean, maybe that's level ten or something like that." Yeah. But, um, it's a fun game. Forty-two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I get to go again. Because <laughs> Just because. Because I. Because that's the zero-page homebrew rule. <laughs> no. Yeah, I was going to say. I need to catch up. I was going to say. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait, <one. laughs> oh, again. Get him, get him. I, for I, for I have to say Mango's Down has excellent target box attached to it. Yeah. I mean, this this wave is just two. a few wave, wave two, two and the waves and everything, which is yeah. really cool. But the man goes down and has like all those little cheeky uh, <laughs> comments as you go through, which I think is really great. So it, yeah, man goes down is a really good first game. Yeah. To demonstrate how to, good the, yeah. these artifacts can be used. Yeah, it's very very cool. How much how much are they? Uh, they them? are fifth. Yes. Yeah. But it does a lot. Um, it not only does speech, it saves your scores, right? Yeah. Um, and there's some kind of cool things coming up on the horizon that people are working on. Um, like saving your game. Um, Penalt mm -hmm. is one of those games where it's a RPG. And you'll be able to continue later on by um, using the Atari bombs and, and like saving and loading games in, in better in progress, right? Wait for. Um, and there's even like a possibility of an RPG where there's a part two to the game. Mm. You can carry your character over from so. part one with mm. all the weapons and um, all the stats oh. that you gained from the first part of the game. I was going to say uh, that's like Dragon Age. Nobody's done that yet. But yeah. It's uh, not that you carry over your weapons, Age, but you carry your character and 
the ending of the story affects the options you have in, like, Dragon Age, I think it was Dragon Age 2 and 3 did that. Wait, which is really cool, because you make right. choices and decisions, and if you, if you, you upload... Old, old, old other game no, again. it just, it, who it's the king and queen it. is, is dependent on your, you know, with the choices you made at the end of Dragon Age 1. Right. So it's, or whatever, I mean, I can't, it's been a while since I've I played it, but eight. I just always thought that was really cool, oh, that yeah. the consequences from the previous games, if you upload your previous games, then affect the storylines you follow in the subsequent series. Very, very I always good. thought that was really neat. And, and those games are very heavy, heavily story-driven games, so... Um, hey, Arena Foot's back! Arena Foot! Um, so for all the people watching, do you know if there's Wait. ever been um, a game where you could connect up two Atari systems to each other? Um, and they could be playing at the same time because the uh, the Atari box mm -hmm. can read and write to it. So it has uh, data going back and forth. So therefore, each of the ports I can read and write to the ports. That means you can communicate with the, with the ports. And that means you can hook up two Ataris to each other. Both um, sending and receiving data from each other, right? Mm. So you could essentially have two Ataris, two televisions, and be playing head to head against Fuel. each other. Fuel. Like a Fuel. sports game. Wait, seven. Um, a sports game or a um, first person shooter or some, something like that. And. Um, be able to completely not see the other person. Um, there is, there was a game in the works for uh, Vectrex like that, but uh, it was only put out in very limited quantities, um, and you had to hook up two Vectrexes to each other. And I unfortunately, forgot a copy of it. I can't remember what it was called, but it was it was a 3D uh, first-person uh, maze. Nothing. Nobody knows. Wait, wait. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you beat me though. Fifty-four. Oh no, you still have another life. Round two. No. Oh, <laughs> I, I deserve that. I I wouldn't say trust. <laughs> Fifty-five to thirty something. No, forty-six. Well, I'm still trust. No. Trounced. No. One more. Or are you done? No, I'm. I'm, done. <sighs> I'm good. I'm good. You want to move on to the next game? I think you've quite yes. a few. So. Yeah. Yeah. Do. Oh, I think oh, somebody experimented with that yeah. uh, using the joystick ports as serial connectors. At least it's been discussed theoretically. Mm. Yeah. I am waiting for that game. Mm. That will be very interesting. I do have enough um, Ataris <laughs> and <laughs> uh, There's an Atari vi for everyone. video yes. encoders that I could do that and stream mm. it. And have two streams going. There you go. Hmm? Hold the button down, down please. You. Atari Fox Plus. Um, so the next game we're going to play is Cubert. Cubert. Oh. And played this so much. Cubert arcade. This is a hack. Yep. Terrible at this game. <laughs> Seriously. Challenging. No, oh. I, I remember having I remember having a little system, like like one of those. Where are they up there? Yeah, I had a system like that with Cubert on it. You at did one point ages ago, and I, I played it. I played whatever the version was on the Commodore sixty four. Oh, okay, and um, we may have to emulate this. Mmm, it's having trouble. Yes, emulation time. Okay. Right back. Okay. You figured it. Sorry. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's switch over, because that is not being nice. Cubert used to be one of my top five, as 06502 says. Oh, thank you, Arena Foot, for typing up my score. I think it's pretty far from my actual top score. I think I was at 100,000 or something like that when we are doing, because I could do better than that with some practice. Uh, okay. 
Let's get Hubert up on here. There we go. Switch over to screen capture. I think we're good. Minimize the chat. Switch over. Boom. I hear you're playing Hubert. Now we just need a joystick. Oh, get out one of the big ones. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. Hold the joystick at a 45 degree angle. Yes, that will help a lot. And especially since this is not a um, pad, um, a D-pad, it's going to be a lot more easier to translate uh, what's going on because this is a, you know, 16 directional joystick. If this is a hack, how is it different? Well, that's a very good question. Let me read that out while I'm waiting for Tanya to come back. Here's my update to Qbert. This is by Mike Sarna, a.k.a. Revenge. Um, changes from stock Qbert ROM include repa replace the lives remaining graphic with a mini Qbert. Let's just... Uh... That's loud. Sorry, people. Oh, my God. Okay. Yep. Yay! Qbert! Oh, no! <laughs> I, we're playing this because it uses Atari Vox. Oh, but you can't play it. Oh, no. But it can't play it. Let's yeah. try and get it working on the other system. Okay, again. try it again. Because there's no point in playing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we can't hear it. Yeah, I right? supposed to. I just figured that out. Yeah. I suddenly realized, oh, wait, no, that's not going to work. Yeah. No, it is not. Oh, that's a shame. It is. Let's try it again. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's some line count issues. <laughs> You could push the button. Did I turn it off? No, it's still, oh, it's still on. Mm. Hold it. Mm -hmm. At our Fox Plus. Ready. We'll see if we can get this going. It's a zip file. Oh, Does that that's matter? why yeah. it's not loaded. Yeah. One second. I'm like that. That's. Usually it's a bin file, not a zip file, so yeah, the, that um, probably is affecting it. The system doesn't know what to do with zip files. It doesn't have an unzipper. That's good. That is a good sign. <laughs> Azur, Azur, hello. Uh, really should support zip files. Stella really <laughs> should support zip, zip files. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. That would be nice. Because then you could have a zip file with all the programs in it. Yeah. And it would be uh, nice and easy to mm. get it going. There we go. Unzipped. And we're in business. Middle button. Yep. Atari Fox Plus. I like it. Ready. I love the ready, too, because I'm like, oh, I can take my finger off the button now. Yeah, it's very nice. Thank you, Alice yeah. Poster. For making that ready. Yay. You remembered. North America. Yep. Ooh, pretty. Pretty. Very pretty. There we go. Let's switch it over so they can see it. Mm -hmm. Hubert. Yeah, the Harmony Flash doesn't know what to do with the zip file. <laughs> yeah. Too much. Aw, he's blinking. It's so, so cute. I'll go, go over the differences again. Uh, replace the lives remaining graphic with a mini Qbert. Colored the lives the same as a player. Did you press the button? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I colored the lives the same as a player. So there's the mini cuberts at the top. They must have been dots before. So hold it at an angle. <laughs> nice! I love it. So you're holding it at an angle to make it easier to understand? There's no angle here. Ah. The gamepad sort of tilted a bit so it matches. Oh, I see. Right? Just makes it easier oh, to map it. Hatched. Um, ah. Added a title screen. I hate, I hate Qbert. In attract mode, the display alternates between the title screen and the pyramid. Added to Tarivox support, Qbert falling and Qbert getting hit now have voice effects. <laughs> love it. I love it. It's like Qbert swearing. Updated the font. I hate Qbert. And uh, converted to F8 bank switching. Enjoy. Oh, you can kill that green guy. Get him. 
Get him. Get him. him? Yep, yeah, get him. Get him. And he's gone. No, no, don't I, follow I, him. I hate Kubrick. I hated Kubrick back, back in the day. <laughs> It hasn't changed. I I just it's it's it's, it's the diagonal <laughs> motion. Giving up in the middle has, of the game. I I just it's one of those games that I've always hated. I hate it. I hate this game. <laughs> I've hated it since childhood. Oh. <laughs> Poor Cuba. Incentive to die. RC seventy. Me too. Yes. Yes, I just I do not enjoy Cubert. I I never have, never have. I'm so sorry. All the Cubert fans. What are the yeah Gretams? I used to play it with my cousins and the few things I could beat them at. I just I I just have an eternal hatred for Cubert. I don't know why. <laughs> just have to kind of get used to the angle. No, there's something about my brain that's like <laughs> Doesn't no work with the no not at 45 degree angles. That's that's not how it works. Do those replenish every level? I don't think yes. they do. Yes. Uh, I can't remember. Maybe I just wasted one. Probably. Oh yeah, they, they, they white out. Good job. Yeah, they white them out. I forgot about that. Oh, bad. No, um. I was all, I always loved Qbert. I'm good at it too. I always <laughs> loved Qbert. Yeah, there's a lot of Qbert fans. Not a Qbert fan. I, I never played it a lot, so I was never, like, a fan of it. I don't know why, but of all the games I used to play when I was young, this was probably the one I liked. The least? Yeah. I'm going to start over so I can... No, you're doing pretty oh. good. Oh, I'm still going. No, I still have three more lives? Oh, no. I oh, you started over. Just, I don't know. The graphics like... look really good now. This is a really good translation. And I never liked Marble Madness. And, uh... Well, it's a hard game. No, but there's something about this in Marble Madness and the squares. It's isometric. And... I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an isometric game, just like Marble yeah, Madness. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't like Marble Madness either. It, it's not a game I, I really enjoy playing, so... Some games just get you frustrated. Come on, Snake. Get the hell out of here. No! no! What is he saying? Something up yours? <laughs> it's, it's nonsense swearing. Is what it is. It's like, blah, 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 blah. yeah. And if you look above his head, it's the like kind of censored version of swearing. Yeah. It's like exclamation marks and, and asterisks and um, question marks. Mm. Can you? This guy's chewing things. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. He's just being cute. <laughs> That's not no, cute. He's being cute. I'm gonna make this guy yeah. jump off the cliff. Come on, follow me. Follow me. Nice. They make so the noise says for, something for too. the uh, the jumping uh, coil snake too. I love names, but I can't remember the names. I know they do have names. Oh. Oh, oh struggles. Oh. Uh, struggles. Zara says I played it in the arcade all the time. The Are you okay? Interesting thing about the arcade game, so it actually freaked me out, the arcade game. Really? Because No, I don't mean that. Settle down. You know that? That's why people use hashtag hashtags, <laughs> pound signs, no. and uh, question marks and things to when when people swear and they take out the vowels and yeah. Yeah. I I attribute that oh, to Cubert. Oh, maybe. I'm sure it was done before that. I'm sure it was, but I still attribute it to Cubert. Where is it? The bottom bottom right oh, there. Oh, the green and yellow are so yeah. similar. It's oh. cool. <laughs> the co coiled stick. Okay, let's go to oh, it changed. The no, oh, uh, green uh, guy, green guy came. And then you hit the level where there are two coiled oh, snakes. Tons of cool things. Oh, there are. Escape. Green guys, um, yeah. You know when you get a free, um, a free light. In Qbert, when you put in a quarter, it had the same uh, mechanism in it. What do you mean? Uh, the, the thwacker. You know when you get a free life mm. in a um, pinball game? It goes whack! Mm -hmm. um, this, the arcade game for this had that mechanism in it. So when you put in a quarter, it went whack! Really? I think it was when you put in a quarter. Weird. And that, it was so loud, so freaky. Oh, oh. Nice. You got a green guy. Oh, you got a free life. It didn't whack. It didn't 
insane. See, see, look how much, look how well he's doing. You clearly enjoyed playing this game. I didn't. I have no affinity for keepers. <laughs> no, but you're doing very well. I friggin' hate this game. There's something about the angles of it, and I used, and I played it, and I always did terrible, and I just went, it, some games, some games just frustrate you, and you're like, no, I don't need to play this. I don't need to, I don't need to waste my time on this. And, and, and Cubert is one of those games. The green guy is supposed to be walking on the side of the cube, but I guess it was too hard for this port. I don't think it could have been. Like, you can put him anywhere. Oh, he's still going. Yeah. Oh, nice. You had an extra life. Oh, come right there. Of course he is. Nice. Yeah, you oh, just play well. some sideways. Oh, I remember this. The, oh, uh... does this disappear? Yeah. No. Does it? No. No, okay. But some of them do. There is a level that does. I just thought, yeah, it disappeared. Wasn't there a game that was like that, where it disappeared? Uh, there is. Maybe this. Maybe it is Cubert. I don't know. Because then you can get your... 28125, not bad. Not bad. For my first game? Was that my first game? Yeah. Yep. Well, I gave it. I gave you Halfway my game. Halfway through yours. So, no, you go. You go. I, I don't want to play it again. I, I don't want to play, play it. One more I'll play, <laughs> play it one more again. time. Oh, just negative, oh, negative emotions. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. Memories repressed. All coming back. I don't know why. Nightmares at the arcade. I don't know why. I never, I never went to arcades. So <laughs> I never had that. Uh, I always thought that putting quarters in machines seemed like a dramatic waste of money. So... Um, <laughs> no, I'm serious. So did I, because I was not good at some of the games. So it was well, like, well, that was 30 seconds. <laughs> my parents gave me... Especially Dragon's Lair. My parents oh my gave me a, a, an allowance cents. when I was a child, but it wasn't very much. And, yeah. um, you know, I wanted to buy, like, dolls and things with it. So the idea of, of spending, you know, my money on a... Okay, I wanted gem in the holograms dolls. The idea of spending my money on other things, you right. know, just that wasn't gem. That wasn't gem <laughs> in the holograms. So. Interesting how okay, like that. Interesting how a game that speaks turns some humans into parrots, repeating what the game says. Yeah, yeah. You just it, you just enjoy enjoy those uh, sounds. The sheltering in place is getting to Tanya. Only when you're forced to play Cubert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the green guy took one out. Ugh, Cubert! Uh, this is actually an incredible it's, version of Cubert. It is, and yeah, and, and I will give I'll, I will give you that. It looks very smooth and like it's working very, very, very well. I don't think he well. changed any of the gameplay. I, no. I really never played Cubert on the 2600, and it's actually a really good version. Mm -hmm. Even the graphics are totally fine. Oh, I yeah. should not be taking so much risks. So uh, many risks. You gotta take some risks. Yeah, I didn't need to. Though. I love it when you're almost done and then one of those green guys shows up bottom corner. Bottom corner. Wrecking your... Oh, oh my no, God. he is wrecking it. Oh, he takes it down to zero. Oh, God. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, no. What just happened? <laughs> we have one left. Oh, Oh no. Oh, okay. Okay. I had a good game and then I had a bad game. <laughs> Fever tree. Coronavirus nightmare. Yeah, that's yeah. right. But that's like, I, not I, That's a good hack because it wasn't a black background. It was like blue or something ridiculous. And it has a nice oh, title screen the, now. So did the, there was an original 2600 Cubert? Yep. Yep. And this just makes it a lot better, yeah. especially with the sound. So much better. Yeah, he has the graphics for the remaining lives, colored the lives, same as a player. Added a title screen, which you mm. just saw. Um, added the Atari Vox support. Updated the font, more like Hubert, I'm guessing. And made the made it bigger, because mm. he has to have extra stuff in it. Uh, the vo falling voice is hilarious. Let, actually, let's just listen to the voices. Uh, mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> <laughs> just a string of craziness so but that's that's what the original was yep exactly <laughs> so we're gonna make this snake hop off we'll listen to that again uh, 
Harry Miller's electric car on the Millers. Yeah, yeah, same. He makes the same noise. Uh, nice. uh, Very nice. Oh, you can't see it. Anyway, you could hear it. Oh, you can. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so the next game is Omicron. And I think I do have to play this one on cartridge. Harry okay. Miller's electric car on. Because I don't think a final version was released on uh, binary. But you don't have it at least, so. Yeah, I don't have it. Ooh, a... he's opening the box. I've opened this before. I've have had this you? for a long okay. time. I just say that because that's a pretty big deal. It uh, is. We played this game. I we did a this long game. time yeah. ago. Yeah. This is by the uh, really amazing like the... programmer Simo. Yeah. Who has disappeared, but not really disappeared. I really like the box I art too. Open these boxes. Oh, uh, you don't want to hurt it. Yeah. Because it's so easy. Oh, I got it open without bending that. Thank you for recording that terrible score. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first one was much better. Yes. There you go. So, very, oh, very nice. They delete their YouTube channel content all the time. They do. This um, is the person who made this game? Yeah, they post something. Oh. It's like, oh my God, look at that amazing game. They delete it a week later. Why? And they never talk about it in the Atari Age forums. Why? Never release a binary. Hmm. And they've done this. They disappeared like a couple years ago. Yeah and never come back to the Atari age forums. Mm. I've tried to contact them uh, multiple ways through the YouTube channel, Atari age forums, and one other way as well. Um, about like, hey, what's going on? Mm. You make awesome games. You mm. should put them out or mm -hmm. what, what's happening. Yeah. But they're just like a mystery, enigma. Um, so there's the front of the box. Very clean, very nice. <laughs> um, I'm waiting to see the dog. <laughs> Searching for Sima. Yep. <laughs> and the the way they program is just so different than any other programmer out there. It's it's very I don't know, simple but complex at the same time. Like the graphics are really simple, but the gameplay is really like there's the front cover. But the gameplay is really, really, really good. And they're very prolific too. Just makes a funny noise when booting this one up. Mm. Um, so this is Omicron by Simone Sarah, aka Simo. Ready. 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 I like it. First posted May twenty May 9th, 2010. Options. Normal. Fire type one. Control A. 2.5K. Back. Normal. Uh This is a 16K F6 game. Uh it's available in the Atari Age store. Um, I don't know what the, all the options are. I can't remember now. I don't remember. What does it look like? There's like four different games. We'll figure it out. Water stage one, breezeist. Water stage one, breezeist. Oh. So, you collect the greens. Two lives left. Nope. <laughs> you collect the blue. Oh. Get the blue. And shoot the greens. Yeah. And then there's a point where it switches, and then you can get the greens. And it has strafing. So you can sh stay in one, shoot in one direction, and hold my down light. the button, I think. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. What? Oh no, you, you can't. Game over. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing! <laughs> <laughs> Still the cube regard oh. image. Oh, thank you. Swap it up. There we go. Okay, my turn. Uh, I don't I score. Water stage one. I score. <laughs> Atari, he is such oh, a... Oh, holding the button. Oh, it's the opposite. I oh, you press the button this. to change direction. Oh, that's Of right. shooting, which is an interesting way. It is probably better... So you don't it's have to hold down it's the button. very weird gameplay. Very opposite to every other game that's ever been made. And when that thing comes up, everything stops. Do life left. Everything stops moving. Oh. So it, it does. Everything Let's stays good. static. I don't know. I don't know what this game is. This little guy. He just loves to do this. Oh, it's 
You're in the, in the corners. Oh, you have to get it. It's like you run out of fuel. Like, right. So, it, it's good for getting the stuff that's around. Like, because they stop moving. Ah. Oh, you have to get a certain number of them to get to the next stage. Yeah. Absorb. Absorb. That's what I'm supposed to be getting. What? Yeah, absorb it. Name order. Nope. I score. Fire type. Fire type 2. That's probably the one that makes it. Water stage 1, 3, be small. Oh! Pressing the button changes directions. No, this is much worse. Much worse way of playing. Two lives left. Welcome to Omicron. Yeah. Captain Man 2D. I've never heard of this game. Shoot green squares, touch blue ones. Control cool A. Tunes. Control D. We need a bit more help. Careful. Drop the manual. Is the manual in there? Careful! Is the manual in there? Yes. Water stage 1, 3, be small. That popped up in nowhere. Four elements, water, fire, earth, air, and earth. And she made the agents. Was one of them. Our enemy is an alien virus whose behavior mutates to mimic the four elements of water, fire, air, and earth. As part of its mutation, the virus periodically releases immune fragments to neutralize the enemy. You must collect these fragments. When you've collected enough, you'll move on to the next infected area. When you enter an infected area, the enemy spreads without paying attention to you. Once you collect a fragment, the virus elements will become aware of your presence and will start to hunt you down until the next fragment is released. So you have to get the blue thing as the fragment. And then everything moves towards you. Let's see if it's over. Absorb. During these stages, you will not be able to operate the Omicron antimatter cannon. Instead, you will have to collect up to three virus cores. Name order. So you have to collect I the cores. Core. So the, cores. the blue, the, the, the ones that are colors. So you just avoid everything except for that. Mm -hmm. okay. While the Omicron is in its absorbing state, it morphogenetically mutates, making it possible to absorb virus elements by colliding them. It only lasts a short amount of time. When it is about to return to its normal state, the border color will flash. Virus cores only appear for a few seconds, then mutate into normal virus groups. Once you have three, no more will appear. Solid ones don't kill you right away because they're just appearing. Yeah, they're just so there's the ones you have to, I think, get in the absorb stage. Stay clear. Oh. I'm not. So this is the first stage. Water stage two at bottom. So the absorb stage. Please don't tear the box, Daniel. Yeah. I don't want to witness the first twit on Twitch air on <laughs> error twitch murder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh yes, uh, yeah, you can get them when they're solid. Yes, when you're absorbing, you can get them when they're solid. Save water. Give her! You still need to get the virus cores, though, I do. It's just you absorb them before they... Just you can. Yeah, which you kind of want to do. Two lives left. Oh, wow. Two lives left. 
very handy. Man. I like the Atari I don't box. We, I don't think we played this with Atari box. Not Steve. Uh, I don't no. think so. No. I don't remember any of this. Long time. That's just for the box. No. <laughs> Murder would happen. Oh uh, no! It would be you messaging Al right? <laughs> and getting me a new box. That's what would be happening. Yeah, yeah. There are ways to, to resolve it. <laughs> and then he'd be saying, "Oh, there aren't any more. Sorry, we're all sold out." And then, <laughs> and then there's still no life left. Oh. Uh. You have to put an ad out on Target <laughs> saying, "Does anyone have an Omicron box?" I tore it on on Twitch in front of my husband. <laughs> I was furious. And I would I would exploit all the empathy out there. That's right. Yeah. And someone would send me a box because they, they bought three. Yeah. I don't know what level we made it to last time, but I don't think we made it to level. Four. I don't think so. It's kind of a weird game. That's that's my. It is a weird game. They're all weird. They're all crazy, wacky, weird, but simple. Like, yeah. Oh, I know. People describe this. He uses the play field. Game over. This is all. Welcome to Omicron Water Stage 1 3 Diesel. Uh, programmed by Simon Sarah. Main theme and stage clear music. Phil Salante. Controls. Thomas Hans. Controls. Interesting. Let's see that too. Do I flip? Additional code. Alex Herbert. Um, probably the. Red Light. Lord. Uh, and Bob Montgomery. Special thanks, Eric and Bocos. How do I do Stephen it? Anthony. This is terrible. Press the button. And press it in the direction. It's Order. terrible. No, you guys can't. No, it's terrible. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Doesn't this work with two joysticks? Do I mm, does it? It's terrible. Set to be novice. The dra oh! Set to A expert, yeah. Right difficulty, same as consoles. Right difficulty for the game. Holding select while starting the game will reset the high scores. Reset TV type. I don't know if to. Let's see if I can find anything about the controls. Uh, oh, yes! You can play with two, two joysticks. If a joystick is plugged into port 2, it can be used to aim the Omicron. So I think that's how we played it last time. One person was aiming, and one person was moving. Which can be a lot easier, because then you only have to avoid, and the other person can shoot. It's not much more fun with the, uh, with the voice. Stage type, resist. Screen, if the title screen says 2.5, you're playing the more primitive ROM. Oh, really? We're playing the simpler one. We gotta switch over. Absorb! Absorb! Get them! Too late. You can only absorb the ones that are. No, you turn it into a little circle. Get him! Get him all! Get him! Get him! Really? There! Yep! Now stop getting them! Oh, I see. Yum, 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 yum! Yum, yum, yum! How did you do it? You pressed the button? Yeah! Oh! Game over! Oh, one gotcha. So, let's... Now. So, let's switch to the bigger version. I score! Okay, yes? Let me make this one. Oh no, this is the simpler version. No, no, this... Clicking on 2.5 makes it into the simpler version. Lies, lies. Lies, I suppose. Welcome to Omicron. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. So when you go into the credits, it says thank you. Main, main theme and stage clear music. Phil Select. Controls, Thomas Yench. Code, Alex Herbert. Code, Paul Montgomery. Support, Albert Yerusso, Atari, Atari Age. Special thanks, Eric Boghose. Special thanks, Steve and Anthony. Nathan Strong. Very cool. Is this your intro music? It could be. 
pretty good intro music. I could steal it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So when you go into the credits, he says thank you. So when I went into options, mm. clicked on 2.5, that started the symphony. Oh, this is... Oh, God, it's so much faster. So Holy. this is the original version. <gasps> and... Wow, that's so cool. super hard. It's very fast. Oh, there's no acceleration. There's no thing to capture either. You're just no, shooting them. I'm just shooting them. Just for points? Uh, maybe. Maybe that was it. Just a one level. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Because it wouldn't be enough. What? Whatever. He says, ha, ah, that noise was hilarious. Bad. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Dead? Oh. Dead. Let's hear it. No. Not doing it. No, I did a last one. Maybe it's random. <laughs> now we can't hear it. Uh, Something about music that reminds me of, like, playing slot machines. <laughs> 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 you have to get four. Oh, this noise? This music? Yeah, the music. Oh. has a weird slot machine kind of sound. Do like, the oh. modern ones, the yes. music plays in the background. Music like that, yeah. where it's like crazy random. I mean, the title screen. Right? <laughs> but this is like random notes. But it does make games where it's like I really want to like play well with this. And it seems like simple, but it's. It's nice that they flash on, so it gives you a chance to get away from them. And it's nice they freeze when that comes on. Stay clear. Water stay to and hard. Have to hold up. So, when we get those, and you press the button. No. no. Last life. It was Last when life. the blue guy's on the screen, I think. Oh, you press the button when it's no. no. It wasn't when you were You can absorb them when they're white, supposedly. Oh, maybe you get enough of them. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. You get enough of them, then you can switch. You have to get them when they're, like, white and flashy. Yeah. You're right back. Yeah. 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 Two lives left. Two lives left. <laughs> No, Angry Berg. I'm craving oh. an Angry Berg right now. Um, that's, that's a burger from a local Yeah, uh, I was going to say, there's here. a vegetarian restaurant, um, and they, they're they just comfort food. Like, they're french fries and hamburgers macaroni and stuff like and that, cheese. macaroni and cheese. Um, all vegetarian, but they have one item on the menu called the Angry Berg, which is a hamburger that is just drenched in hot sauce. It's a veggie very burger. Hot. With a lot of avocado on it, or, or on. guacamole, I guess. Um, and then it comes with the best French fries, which is why I, I just I think this restaurant has the best French fries. And I just it just probably I don't know I don't like glass of wine. It just jumped into my mind. I'm like I really want an angry bird right now. Oh yeah, you built them up. Look at that. Look at that. I've got two there. Oh, now I can go. Yeah, there you go. So you do get those. Okay. So it's kind of two things you're doing in this yeah. game. In this one. Oh, now they're fast. Oh, they switch very fast now. Yeah. Good for you. Oh, 
Oh, I see the yellow bar. It's, it's for the length of the yellow bar. I want to make it to stage three. I score water day one three I don't know why they are Two lives left. But I find them really good. Really Last life. Oh, I'm just gonna die. Let's just die. Oh, good night, Kathy Man 2D. Good night. Thank you for joining. Welcome to Hobby One more game. Water stage one, three, We're gonna get to Wizard of War. So we have to oh, finally Wizard of War. Ice supposed to work. Yeah, yeah. I'm not have a glitch out. Yeah, it, it would it would work for briefly and then it would stop working, right? <laughs> yeah, it would work for like three fair phrases. And it just like, get overloaded. Yeah. I don't think anything was ever posted about like what exactly was happening. People were theorizing, but it never got definitively posted, as far as I can tell. Oh my god. No. Nope. Maybe it like builds up. No, it's it takes, crazy. If you it's take really too long, you have to get more. I don't know. It's possible. Uh, uh, why? No. Shoot it. Shoot the stuff. Oh, there. I was in, I was in the bottom. Once in B3, you must have to get a certain score. It has to be by score. Water day two at Florida. Left life. Ah, and, how can one appear there? Right beside it, without um, flashing. Name order. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Here you go. Welcome to Omicron. Moving on to our last game of the night, Wizard of War. We can finally play it, and we'll do an unboxing at the same time. Ooh. Exciting. So I've not opened this up, <gasps> because we haven't opened any of the new ones up, because I no. was waiting for to have an Atari this system. This is the stuff you bought in Portland, or I bought in Portland, I guess. Yes, yeah. <laughs> on the first day. Yeah. I was in Portland a day before James because he was showing off his film at a film festival. Yes. And he gave me a list and I walked up to the Atari Age booth and I said, I need to buy all these games. <laughs> he said, I'm from Zero Page Homebrew. No, no, I think he knew who I was, but I'm like, hi, I'm here to buy games for James O'Brien. <laughs> Just hit 30,000 channel points. I don't know what that means. Yay. I don't know. So there we go. There's the cover of Wizard of War. <laughs> There's the back of it. Very nice colors. Um, let's try and open it without destroying it. I think these were assembled, right? Yeah, they were assembled at PRG. No. Then it says, I am the Where Wizard of War. Welcome to my world of war. I don't remember. Yeah, because you didn't, we didn't have to assemble them. They weren't flat-packed. I don't know. Packed. They yeah. might have been. No, they were always Are you sure? Yeah, because they did them there. Hmm. Compatible with the Quad Tari and Atari Vox Enhanced. First game compatible with the uh, uh, Quad Tari. There we go. Wizard of War, same as the front cover. Mm. Wizard of War Arcade. And we'll pull out, see what else is in here. We've got the manual, same as the front cover. Very nice heart. And very nice art. There's the back, and it says Code and Design, John W. Shampoo, and I'll read the rest a little bit later. Um, and we also have a very nice poster. And at PRGE, when they have the booth, they have massive posters of these. Mm. Like really big posters. Mm -hmm. There is the poster, same as the front, front again. So you get four copies of front. Fit that for framing. John Champo keeps saying he's going to make me a t-shirt with double score dungeon on it. So That's right, John. I know. Come What's on, What's happening? Man. I will wear it. I will wear it. On the show. Multiple, <laughs> multiple times. Multiple times. Okay. Here we go. Atari Fox Plus. Ready, A. Insert coin. Uh -huh. <gasps> that was cool. 
Insert. Did you hear coin. that? Insert coin. That is so cool. Get ready for your. Don't press the button. Yeah. There's sounds. There's sounds to be heard. Sorry. Like so anxious, like Erlen's. I gotta go. Press the button immediately. We don't get to see anything. <laughs> Press game reset. Press game reset. Mm. So you scroll through these. Find me the poison flower, I think. Mm -hmm. Poison dot flower? Mm -hmm. uh, I still don't have my copy of Wizard of War Arcade. Oh, I was supposed to. Me neither. I was going to pick one. Uh, some more carts and Atari box, but then the economy stopped functioning. <laughs> it happens. Not usually. Not usually. <laughs> Things are a little Press game reset. Right now. Okay, I think we've heard all of these. Yeah. We play standard usually, right? Yes. Two? Uh, well, we have the Atari box plugged in, so... Oh, we can't. Press no. Game reset. I don't know if my Quataris are compatible. I can try them out, but they were prototypes, and... Prototypes. I mean, I, I, we should try that. Because I do have a quad tar prototype here. Um, so why not? Let's give it a go. I mean, it does. It will work, but there's. I think it'll have that problem where we kind of control each other. Remember? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is like any order. You only meet with you. I I feel like All the John voices. I feel like John Champo's voice is in the, is in this taunting me. <laughs> is that is that weird? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> I think he's in You there. could have done better. <laughs> I think he would say that. I think he would. I totally think he would. <laughs> I, I cannot tell what they're saying. Double score dungeon! <laughs> Woo! I swear this is John Shampoo's voice. Did he say if you tried any harder, you would what? I don't know. <laughs> but he's definitely making fun of me. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, oh, is this it? Please. Ah, it's an extender. 
if you get a powerful wild cake pair of you might <laughs> bounce. Oh, that was bad. Game over. Just in time. I have no idea what you're doing over there. <laughs> Finding a male to male DB9 so I can hook up the quad tie. Gotcha. That makes any sense. Now it'll either work badly or it won't work at all because he's changed the pinouts. You'll never get that t-shirt, Tanya. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That may be true. Yeah. <laughs> he seemed very enthusiastic. He did, make, actually. Making that t-shirt. If though. he's not going to make it, I'll make it. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Go to mail to mail. Okay. That goes in A. Turn it off because it needs to redetect the Atari, uh, the Quad Atari. Mm. So, for those who don't know, you can put in two joysticks into port one that goes into the Atari port one, and this is the Quad Quad Atari. If you can read that, and I'll put it down in the cat cam. Should be in the cat cam mm -hmm. now. And um, when we turn it on, it should say Quad Tari detected. Mm. Atari Fox Plus. Ready. Atari is now in the cat cam. I think. I oh, his the the flower. oh, well, it didn't come up fast enough, so we can't see it. Um, oh, I can't. I need a the flower. Oh, there you go. Nice. I'm out of sight. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, it does work. That's two. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't seem to have two moving guys. Oh, yeah. That Press might be... No, you, you're in control. No, I'm not. Oh. I need a laser nut flower. I don't think this is the right. Something is not working. I have a more... I... Oh, I am moving. I'm not moving well. It's not very well. No, something is not happening. <laughs> I, have, I have a, a newer Quadtari. These may not work at all. Oh, okay. Um, RC70. Have an updated one. Yeah, uh, the D train says we might need a T Public store for video game t shirts. Um, that's where I got <laughs> the. Um, that. Uh, Dra Draconian? Yep. Shirt from? Bosconian. It was T. Bosconian. Uh, from T Public or Draco, it's the same, right? It's the uh, same game. Well, Draconian is the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. No, but I mean the shirt is yes. essentially mm. both. Atari um, uh, Draconian, Bosconian. Um, I need a laser nut flower. Um, so, yeah, that I assume you could just send them an image and they'd make a shirt for you. Yep. Uh, nope. Sorry. Oh, he changed it. So. Uh, Arena Foot says, "I still want to get one of those Wall Jump Ninja wraparound logo tees. There yeah. is such a thing. That sounds awesome." Uh, you have to make it yourself. Oh, you do? Yeah. I would make that myself. I do have the graphics. Yeah. For it, so uh, the original artist oh. sent me the graphics. Bosconian, the D Train got the same shirt, which is awesome. Oh, because it's nice. the guy who did Draconian who made that shirt or something. No. Oh, I thought it was. Uh, uh, VHZC. VHZC made. made the Bosco. Bosconian shirt, nice. which has nothing to do with Draconian. But aren't they the same game? Uh, yes. Mm. Uh, Draconian is a port of Bosconian. Ready. Yeah, but they look the same, is what I'm saying. Yeah, they is they, they're functionally I the same. Need the flower. Yeah. Flower. So unfortunately, we can't play VHZC. Yeah. Two players. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. No, Everyone? that's okay. You, yeah, you, we you need you the, the, the uh, Quattari is not out yet, officially, and all those are not supported. They're just, okay. They changed the pins. Yeah, that's fine. So it doesn't... That's fine. It doesn't work the same. Oh, that's fine. I'm not using the right control. But we can listen to the sounds without it crashing. Which is glorious. I've been waiting like a year for that. Ever since it came out. 
Slow lower and for lower become invisible. Ha, 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 ha. No invisibles. I don't know. I didn't understand the first part of that. Gar War and Gar I can't remember. Become the invisible. Become invisible. Yeah. So you have to use the radar. See, just run invisible. Yeah. I'll fry you with my lightning bolt. I'll fry you with my lightning bolt. Oh. It's it's You're understanding a lot more than I am, definitely. I played a lot of around with Sam. We're still bad at this game. Oh yeah. It's a, it's very a hard fun game. game. It's fun to play with two players because I find Way with, with one player. It's quite challenging, but with two players, it's it's a lot better. James, help me with make that logo. F no, not me. I didn't. Make, I didn't make any logo. Who made the Who made the wall jump logo, logo team? I. Oh, oh, the T-shirt. I yeah. may have helped may help you with the T-shirt to contact the person and get the graphics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I have nothing to do with making the T-shirt. Uh, Damn it. Um, um, we but I still through, have the graphics work. somewhere for it. Oh, that's good. Um, it was a bit much <laughs> that t-shirt i didn't want to get it oh really it's, it's really like it's the whole t-shirt you know my atari my orange atari shirt no, you get the uh, yes uh, yeah uh, it's the it, whole shirt it's, it's just overwhelming i like it but it's yeah. crazy i don't it, think i've ever worn it, it on the show it's crazy oh really so that shirt reminds me of like rave culture in the 90s yes, yes. um it, just just like everything very big and over the top and I'll wear, hats I'll wear it or something, next but, show. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've worn it on the show. It's no, insane. I don't think you have. Yeah, you should wear it's it. It's insane. It goes right up to the now collar, and so it has this weird, um, like, women's halter top kind Double of look dungeon. to it. Double score dungeon! Bonus player! Wow! Good I job. Died once, though. That's okay. We got a bonus it's, um, Yeah, it's a low collar. It goes right to the collar, so it's like a big part of the shirt. I quite like it, actually. I think it's, it's kind of a neat-looking shirt. Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, it's neat, and it's very unique. Yeah. I don't remember. I think I... Did I buy it for you? here. There's no... I usually stay out of here because... I... I when there's, uh, I when I there's a lot... No, when you, you have... It? No, I, I... I don't know if I bought it, but I might have purged it. Maybe. Um, Rave color three, in the I, I love that band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, double score dungeon. And just to be clear, I didn't go to raves in the 90s. I'm just speaking to the one. culture. <laughs> well, I've been to at least one rave yeah. in the 90s, but uh, it wasn't my scene, but it just reminds me of rave culture in the 90s. <laughs> yes. Yes. The big graphic big graphic t shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ah, no! Overwhelmed! Come over here. It's from a movie. So familiar. For sure, they're watching a movie next Oh, time. yeah. Um, like the beginning of a film? Yeah. yeah. Like Ocean's, Ele Ocean's uh, Eleven or some one of those. Yeah, it sounds capery. Capery. <laughs> ah, ah, whoa, bounce me back. Just mm -hmm. way better. Come here, come here. Oh, yay! Come wizard here. of War, get the wizard! Get him! Come here. Get him! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> here it is! Ninja Wall Jump Game Work in Progress! Yes, it's an amazing game, and I mm -hmm. think I have the second highest score in the world. I did have the world record at one point. You get the power and somebody from Edmonton beat me. And I've, I've yet to commit uh, three hours to beating the uh, world record again. But I think I, I can do it if I just put in enough time. But I don't know if people would be able to stand watching me jump screens for three hours. <laughs> but I might do it one day. It is such a good game. I it wish is. you could jump forward levels so you could practice, but you can't. You have to start right back at the beginning again, so it's hard to practice those... Can on an emulator. Those... That's true. Which I did. I went to level 99. Did you really? Yeah. Wow. It took a long time. Yeah. So you have to... But you just rewind and do it again. Jump again. Rewind. Jump again. Oh. So yeah. I, I think I don't understand where I should be in this game. Like, I put myself in a in a spot that's not a good idea. 
Dansa, Dar Dansa, Blar away your return, Blar your. <laughs> the dungeons have blah away your blah. I don't know. It's it's a little hard to tell. Oh, that is my score, and I will take it. <laughs> it's not great, but it's not. No, 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 no. No, why is it? Oh, game pads. Yay! You are off to see the wizard, the magic wizard, the flower. So that you... is awesome. Did you hear that? No, you are off to see the wizard, the magical wizard of war. Oh, nice. That, I swear. It does is... have seven, over 70 phrases. Oh, now we can have time to read this. Um, graphics by Nathan Strom, speech and sound effects, Mike Haas, who's as If Costa, you get the Ross. power to lay out a pair of you myself, ah, 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 ah. And Ross Keenum. Uh, packaging, illustration, and design, Dave Dries. Sorry, Dave Dries. Dries. Dave Dries. 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 Dave Dries. Dave Dries. Game testing, Paul Shampoo and Joe Shampoo. The brothers. Special thanks to Nathan Tolbert for the design and creation of the Quadtari adapter that allows two players when using an Atari box. Copyright 2019. Um, where's Power, power, SD, and Hi, Pro7. No. No, no. Oh, it didn't turn fast enough. Um, I always find that's a problem. My hope is whoever finds his message can learn from our misfortune and perhaps be better prepared for the challenges that await. There's an ancient legend passed down by deep space travelers. Uh, the legend of Wizard of War. It tells of an evil wizard who studied in the sciences of dimensional travel and teleportation. It is said that the wizard possesses the ability to trap travelers at any point in space and teleport them to the planet. A planet populated by an array of malevolent malevolent creatures. All teleported there against their will. A wizard entertains himself by watching these creatures battle each other in a struggle for survival in the land of war. Champ Games, Wizard of War. Oh, yep, Prow 7, this is a homebrew made by Champ Games. Wizard of War put if out uh, last any order, fall you only and meet a retro game expo. Uh, 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 First time I heard this story, I was a young recruit in the Star Academy. An old veteran star pilot shared the tale with me over a few pints in the local spaceport. A rite of passage designed to spook young recruits. This was put out on the Atari 2600, but it was a massive flickering <laughs> And John Champo thought he could do better. And, he, and the arcade has speech in it. Oh, I can dodge it has speech, so is the Atari box, so you can no upgrade the graphics, um, put in some, uh, ah. sure turn around. Flick a flicker handling routines, so that if ah. there's more than one, ah. more than two guys on a line, it'll flicker intelligently. Ah. And the result them. is this amazing game. En route to a lucrative mining job in the midway uh, 1980 asteroid cluster. Our ship's navigation computer suddenly malfunctioned. It reported our coordinates to be light years off our programmed course before losing all power. Our lifeless ship soon crashed into the jagged surface of the planet below. Somehow my crew and I managed to survive the crash. We salvaged what we could and set out on foot to climb the tallest peak for a better vantage point. From this perspective, we could see a landscape defined by an endless, sprawling maze that reached to the horizon and beyond. Nice. Oh, this is not good. Remember, I'm the awesome. wizard, not you. <laughs> so there's options of one player with no voice, one or two players with no voice, uh, one player with voice and high score saves if you have an Atari box, and a joystick and a save key, which is what we have. Or you can have a quad Tari um, with two players at the same time. Wizard of War Arcade is one or two players ga uh, game using a joystick controllers. The game also supports Atari Box speech and save key functionality to save high scores. Additionally, support is included for the Quadtari interface. 
that allows two joysticks to be plugged into the left controller port, freeing up the right controller port for Atari Vox. Um, right controller port for Atari Vox save key to support two players with speech high score savings. The controller options are what I just read. Um, there's novice, start with seven warriors, standard with seven, um, and advanced with three. You can play with the uh, computer as well. I don't know if that's a good advantage or not. With the computer? Oh, yeah. no, that's okay. <laughs> no, you, you, you end up bit. killing each other. That's what I find with the computer. Yeah, he might kill you, which would be very annoying. So there is a pause. Um, color black and white. So it does pause, and the, bl the flickery thing is going, which is cool. Sorry. Wanted to show it off. Um, mm -hmm. Uh. Uh, Remember, I'm the boiler, we have the uh, outline of what you see on the screen. You can see there's a radar below. Shows where all the monsters are. In the because some of them disappear. And the only way you can see them is on the radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the original was good, but John's is great. The original was, was fine for playing. It's just the flickery. The and of course, I'm missing the audio, which very few games had for the 2600 had audio samples. There's only a handful of them. Oh, oh. I should have waited. No, that's for them sometimes to come to they you. just. Sometimes that works, and sometimes Ooh. it doesn't. Dungeons 1 through 7 are standard dungeons that contain more places to hide from your enemies. Dungeon 4 is a special dungeon called the Arena, which has the open area. I like the Arena. You know, with one player, it's good. With two players, it's Whoa, just a time. Dungeon 13 is a special dungeon called the Pit. That yeah, is good not... luck with the 13. 13 is death. It's so hard. So there's Burr Wars, which are the blue. If you get your power to lay out Gar Wars, there, which are the guys. Um, they can become invisible. The Thor Wars, which are the red one that you just killed. They're 500 points. They appear after the red, yellow one. That you just killed. Um, killing an op opposing warrior is worth 5,000. <laughs> yeah. If you want to do, do, do that. A Warlock, which is that, is worth 1,000 points as well. Starting with Dungeon 2. And they'll stay on the screen until they escape, so it's better to watch out and block their escapes. He's going to go for it. Almost. Oh, is it coming up? No. Nope. Go down. No. He's going for the other. Oh, oh, smart move. Oh, you can go back and forth as much as you want. That's good. Oh, the other side. Oh. Wizard. Ah. This guy is the wizard. 2,500 points. He will try and escape too. Oh, I got me. Oh, it's not a good round. After the warlock is killed or escapes, the wizard may show up and try to take care of you himself. The wizard is very fast and can teleport spell to disappear and reappear anywhere in the dungeon, making him very difficult to hit. He's also armed with light lightning bolts that will take your item to warrior with one hit. Be careful if you hit the wizard. He will leave the dungeon and allow you to move to the next one, but he will surely return the next time he gets a chance. So this is the open arena. And, um... Oh, terrible this game. <laughs> oh, fun now. this has ah. the maze editor built into it. I didn't know that. How do you get that? That's so unfair! <laughs> He immediately appeared and shot me. Oh, we're gonna have to take a look at after you die as the uh, maze editor and some of the mazes that other people made. I did make some, but John didn't. If you power <laughs> I didn't have much time. I, I don't think I only made one. I didn't have very much time. Uh, I think I was working on the movie at that time or something. Uh, one is made by... Oh, we'll get to them when, uh, when it's time. I'll 
say who made them. Uh, he drinks says, Go, Tanya! It's been a while, but I would probably ritual was fun, not bad, but this looks great. Yes. You are in the dungeons of Blar. You are in the dungeons of Blar. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't have the list of the sayings on here. Um, that would be nice to know. But I mean, there's seven. Go after them. Tips and tricks. Ah! Ty, try to destroy monsters before they get too fast. 35 minutes. Since the monsters that spawn also have the same speed as the monster that was killed. Oh, well, there you go. I haven't moved up, but that's okay. I haven't Pumped moved your own down. score out, I guess. Okay. Because it stayed on Tanya. Um, so, to get mm. to I the maze editor, the yeah. the you do that. Mm -hmm. uh, flip the color black and white switch. Uh, while on the title screen, this will display a blank maze and the current maze mode, arcade maze, or custom mazes on the title screen. So you have to flip over to the title screen with the joystick, left and right. Up, down. There, do it. There we go. Um, this will display blank maze and the current maze mode, arcade mazes or custom mazes. Move the joystick left or right to be toggle between the two. Um, so select custom mazes and press the button. Edit maze one. And this is Bulla Maze. Made, uh, it says German Gonzalez Morris, Dev Web CL. I've seen that name before. Um... Select will cycle through the three custom mazes. So this is maze one that I just described. This is maze two called uh, Logan's Run by Paul, Paul Furfon, Furf13 on Atari Age. Maze three, this one, mm -hmm. Spencer's Couch by Tom Martin. Uh, Atari Age name is Machine. And let's see, how do you play it? Uh, only valid mazes can be saved. Hmm. Does it say how to play them, though? And you can just, like, if you change these, I think they're destroyed in the cartridge. They might be in ROM and then saved to the... Uh, like, is there... That's interesting. Really? To X the maze editor, flip the color black and white switch. Uh, we return to the title, title screen. Any changes <coughs> to the me. current maze will be saved. Only valid mazes can be saved. Reset will undo any changes to the current maze. Okay. If you have not made any changes, press reset and the current maze will default. <sighs> Select will cycle through the three customs. But how do you play them? Because I know you can play them somehow. Does it reset the first three mazes when you play, or...? Press the button to play the game with only the mazes from the... Arc Move the joystick left or right between the two options. Select Arcade Mazes and press the button to play the game with only the mazes from the arcade version, which is... That's weird. Mm -mm. No. I You're in the edit maze. I you have to reset. Okay, go right. Okay, now press the button. So you're playing the arcade mazes. Which is normal. Okay. So then you can switch to the edited mazes, custom mazes, and then you can set them to whatever you want. And then when you when you go oh. back and press play, hey. it'll play the edit press mazes. Okay. Yeah, but they would look the same anyway, wouldn't they? No, they should be the custom mazes, right? Yeah, but the custom mazes are the same as the arcade ones, or? I don't know. This is normal. I don't know. These aren't any of the custom mazes. Get ready, lower ear. So, but we want to play this. Yeah, so no, go, no. Oh, oh that might have done it. Yeah. I pressed reset when it was on custom maze. Yeah. Yeah, these are different. Is it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it is. It's a different maze. I don't know if it's the custom maze, but it's a different <laughs> maze than what it was before. It says select custom mazes and pr Press the button to play the game with the custom mazes. The button. 
play the game with the custom menus and press edit. And edit the first If you get your powerful layout shape, there a few lights out. Ah, 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 ah. This is not very clear on how to play the game with the custom menus. This is not one of the custom menus. Let me try it again. Okay. Our power has to eat and then you want to know what is the title screen? The poison, the flower. Nope. Stop it. Um. So you're, we're playing the custom mazes right now? Yes. No, that's not right. That's not right. That's not the maze I just played. Hey, let's try a press reset on that. Nope. Oh. Play that one with the thing in the center, right? Mm. Hey. Press game reset. Nope. Nope. Oh, no, it's a little weird. Hmm. 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 So there's no way out with the joystick. It just goes through the maze. Select just goes through the, the three the mazes. mazes, yeah. Yeah. And reset doesn't do anything. So you can't. The only thing the way out of this is to press the color black and white. I don't know. And then and that doesn't play the custom maze. I have no idea how to play. Mm. Maybe you can make sense of this? Instructions? There you go. Not making any sense! Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. My magic is stranger than your weapon warrior. One night from my ladies and you explode. Ha 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 ha. No. So if anybody out there knows how to. No, so, okay. So do it again. Okay. Did you read it right to the bottom? Press game reset. <laughs> okay. Okay. So click on custom mazes. Yeah. Hit the button. Okay. Okay. So add a wall somewhere. Okay. Done. Okay. So there's a dead end. That's that's annoying, but that's fine. It's fine. You can play it. Yeah. yeah. So to exit the maze editor, flip the color black white switch. Okay. To return to the title screen. Yep. So now you've saved that. Yep. Okay. So now play the game. Just like normal. Just Welcome to my so world. So see if there's a dead end. No. It's weird. It, it implies that by hitting the black and white, that, or flipping to color, mm -hmm. that the changes of the current maze will be saved. So to me, that implies that the first game you play will be that. Now, does that saved um, maze You know what? Okay, try it again. Level? Try it again. Is that a valid maze? So a valid maze. All areas of the dungeon can be reached from starting squares. So as long it doesn't say you can't have a dead end. What it says is you can reach it. it means you can't do that. No, you can't do that. Which I didn't do. No. Let's just clear out a bunch of things. Just clear out a bunch of things. Yeah. Whole top That's good. That's good. Okay. So now hit select to cycle through the, the mazes. Okay. Still saved. Yeah. So now you're supposed to hit the color black white switch. I need a poison, a and then flower. press start. That's not my maze. No. Um. 
Yeah, that's weird, but you would think that would be your starting maze. Maybe it's maze. Maze, maybe the starting yeah, there's, there's information missing. Johnny needs help. Every time I start, and send me a t-shirt. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Every time I start, it is a different maze. It is. But, but if you hit black and white out of the custom there. or the arcade there maze, there, there it is. is. Oh, it is in there. It's so it's just random. Okay, well that makes sense then. Does it go standard events custom? No, I don't think there's a custom option. If you go back to the main screen. Go back to the main screen. Standard events novice. No, unfortunately no. Oh, Packrat's leaving. Good night, Packrat. Good night, Packrat. Yeah. Cycle you. through maze difficulties on title screen. No, it's it's still. You get your so you don't find me a poison that flower. There's no custom, but it did randomly generate that maze. It did. So maybe it is just random. Cat. You you can create a few mazes and they'll they'll just randomly throw them in. Right. You can go through the levels with the difficulty of the monsters, but each maze is random. Is random. You get maze one through three and yeah. some other ones. More than three uh, if you switch to novice, start at novice. Will it start with the custom mazes? Just out of pure curiosity. Yes, it does. So you have to start with novice. Yeah, you have to start with novice. So thank you, uh, Ayes Posta. That's a good, good Solved suggestion. It. It, it it's only on novice that it does one, two, three. It does random on on standard. Uh, that should be in the manual. <laughs> but we figured that out, so that's good. Maybe it does say in the manual somewhere else. Oh, novice. The first three dungeons are always the same set of three mazes. Mm. But I mean, that's not very clear. It still doesn't say. <laughs> to be it's to the, be sure, that's not clear. It doesn't say it's the first set of three. Three of the custom maze. Yeah, but that makes more sense yeah. now. We figured it out. Yay! <laughs> Eventually, you click enough buttons and and you randomly. Stumble because it on says the standard solution. is similar to the arcade. Yeah, which is random. Well, there we go. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Hey. game reset. So that's where you have to switch back. Mm. To the arcade. Or else you're playing the custom mazes all the time. Mm -hmm. This dude. He's so sleepy. He's, He's sleeping next to us this whole time, and we're we're jostling him and touching oh. him. And He's so calm. You're such a calm kitty. <laughs> You're such a good be little good fluffy, movie cat. fluffy. Look at this. I don't know if you can see. He's got this fluffy beige belly. He is just the sweetest little kitty you've ever met. Yeah. I've had a lot of cats. And he is the most codependent cat I've ever had. He just just wants to be wherever you are at all times. Oh yeah, yeah. instant fur when you touch him. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm so happy you're touching me. Yeah. He's very sweet. I don't oh, know. I don't know what breed that makes him, but he's just an incredibly sweet cat. He is a mutt. He is a he is a rescue cat. So. Yeah, he was a street cat. He was a street cat. At least a field cat. He was a field cat. Pixel was a street cat. Oh, oh yeah. Like he doesn't put up with yeah. <laughs> No, he puts up with no shits. <laughs> I'm a tough cat. Yeah, Don't mess no with me. shits given. Ah. Uh, ah. Atari, I think, was a field, field cat. He was out in, out in the wilds of Abbotsford. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. He's a country cat. Pixel's a city cat. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh... RC70, my older cat has learned to sleep through a seven-year-old jumping on the bed next to him, but somehow a creak in the floor gives him a puffy tail. <laughs> so I have to tell a story of Atari. We, um, our vacuum, through all this COVID stuff, kind of died. So we ordered one from Bed Bath & Beyond, which surprisingly got to our home pretty quickly. It was shipped from, like, Nevada, which I'm just shocked that we got it within a week. Um, yeah. But we unboxed it and put it out in our living room 
and Atari immediately freaked out and started hiding in her bedroom. And uh, you talking about the puffy tail, um, <laughs> you talking about the puffy tail, he, he just walked around, and, and the weirdest thing is he'll be upstairs sleeping, and then he'll just periodically look over at it. So we, we took out the vacuum in the corner, and he just looks at it like it's a predator all day long. He is terrified of this vacuum that we took out. And I can't figure out why! Yeah, I, I don't know. We haven't even, we turned it on once, but he was afraid of it before. He was afraid of it the moment it came out of the even box. The box. He, he just knew that it was, okay. it was, it was not something to be trusted, so. Poor little guy. So we're trying to get him accl acclimatized to the vacuum being in, in the, uh, apartment, but, uh, Oh, poor little dude. Yeah. So I've actually hot hidden it upstairs. Oh, yeah, Because it was in the it? middle of the room, and I pushed it to one corner, so I'm hoping that um, it was right by the front. We have a balcony with a sliding door, and we had this issue with a stray cat that actually jumped onto our balcony and started taunting Pixel, and then Pixel freaked out and attacked Atari, and ever since, Atari is really cautious by the sliding door, yeah. because... He's scared of this foreign cat, and he's also scared of Pixel. Going crazy. Going seeing. crazy seeing this cat. Um, like, Pixel really, like, turned feral. Like, it was <laughs> yes. really, really bad. It was really bad. He attacked me. Uh, I actually uh, have scars uh, on my leg uh, from him attacking uh, my leg. Uh, again. Um, but the vacuum was at the front right by the sliding door, so I moved it away because I feel like it was like double anxiety for Atari. Yes. Yeah, that both the vacuum and the, and the sliding door, and he was freaking out, so he seems a little better now. Yeah, he's calmed yeah. down. Uh, I was surprised he didn't go for the box. Is he not a box cat? No, neither of our cats are box cats. And no. the last cat I or had... Or bad cats. Um... Uh, paper bags you only meet with you. And the last cat uh, 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 was a box cat. Was a box cat. And paper bag cat. But Did neither of these cats are like boxes. No, they don't care. They don't, yeah, they don't, they don't jump not out interested. Them. No. They don't hide in them. No. Uh, uh, Atari is a, is a toy cat. So he has specific mice and toys oh, geez, that he'll pull out of his own box and play with, which is the most adorable thing in the world. <laughs> yes. Um, he'll toss them up in the air. He'll, and... he'll put them in his mouth, he'll throw them up in the air, he'll play with them. And then he My has this game where he taunts Pixel with it, which I think is the funniest warrior. thing I've ever seen. Um, he'll get it in his mouth and he'll start growling at Pixel, but he growls in a way like, I have this and you don't. Um, it's like he's showing off, which is really, really funny. He has stuffed animals that he absolutely loves. Loves. Loves them. And he has a mouse which has a feather for a tail, and he loves it. And he also has, uh, what is it? It's a bunny rabbit. We have two little bunny rabbits. And he will, he will run around the house there with the bunny rabbits no to the point where I'll wake up in the morning and open our bedroom door and there's a bunny rabbit right in front of the door. Yeah. Like he'll actually leave it offering. in front of the door. It's an offering. Um, so he's, he's a toy cat, which is really funny. Pixel's not like that at all. But he, he, Pixel will get antagonized <laughs> by Atari playing with it. He doesn't toys. want his toy. He just doesn't want He gets want Atari really pissed off that Atari has a toy. So, um... It's really funny. Pixel is an acrobat. No. Pixel's an acrobat. So he tries to get to the highest shelf in the house and he likes to then meow at Atari. Basically, look at him and taunt him. he taunts Atari saying, look how high I am. Which I find really funny. But the highest point in the house is now blocked off. Yeah. Which I'm sure he's not happy about that. Yeah. So it's the only place Atari couldn't go. Yeah. But uh, they have funny games. This is the problem when you have had cats for so long, <laughs> is they become human beings in your in your in your world. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> did you train? Haha! <laughs> I love it when pets love their fluffs. Yeah, they, <laughs> he he loves his toys. Um, RC70, our youngest at. Uh, Pulled the metal drain strainer thing out of our kitchen sink today and left it on the counter. It what? took us a few minutes to figure out how it got there. Yeah. 
<laughs> who, who put that there? Yeah. No, he's gonna see it. Damn it. Oh! Oh! Good job! So Excellent. If you can beat the threat, then you never get the best. Uh, 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 uh. If you can't beat the best, you'll never get the best? I don't know. I Something didn't quite like get that. that. Yeah. The voice is crazy. <laughs> so yeah, they're, they have very distinct personalities. Um... There are and for are no, no. Oh, there's so many of those uh, 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 bunch guys. of them just appeared all at the um, same time. Ah. So the this two cats, we got Atari this because I was actually really worried Pixel was alone. And so even though they fight like brothers, like they really do, they antagonize each other. Play fight. They play fight, but it's it's never vicious. Um, oh. oh damn it! I almost got. It. Oh, oh no. my god! Um, get up there. Ah! Ah! Ooh. Oh! You are in the dungeons of flower. You are the, in the dungeons of flower? Floor? 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 I don't know. Floor? Um, <laughs> but we got Atari because I was worried that Pixel was lonely. And, and he was. And so even though, even though they fight and they're antagonistic towards each other, um, it's never vicious, and I I think the moment Atari came in the house, Pixel got happier. To oh, be honest, yeah. it was like instantaneous. He was not playing and having fun, yeah. and the moment his brother showed up, he was a completely. He was. Yeah. Yeah. You are in the dungeons of war. Yeah, war. That would make sense. Sounds like flower. Yeah, floor, yeah. floor, floor. Um, Wizard of War phrases. Oh, there's a website with all the phrases. Oh, Excellent. Perfect. We'll have to look those up. Um, yeah. That's cats. Uh, that's cats. They are what they are. Oh, no. Uh, Dungeon 7's pretty good. Oh, sweetie. Ah, uh, that is the last game. Oh, I will put my name in. Because that was not the worst. <laughs> It was not good. It was not the worst. There we go. A very, very mediocre score. Um, so, what do we have coming up? Some interesting hey, stuff. Insert coin. Stuff out of you. Insert coin. Nope. Nope. No more coins for you, <laughs> Wizard of War. Um, so, we have in the next show. Are we done? An unboxing. Mm. Yeah, it's been three hours. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You've been drinking. Um, I have been drinking, but I've been having fun. All we, these games are amazing. So, so a package from Pack Rat, Pack Rat Games Ooh. that we're going to open on the next show. I nice. have no idea what it is. He okay. also sent me a file to open mm -hmm. at the same time that I'm not allowed to look at, which I haven't looked Ooh, at yet. This is very intriguing. Yes, it is. Are we doing this on Sunday? Uh, yes, we're doing it on Sunday. We're doing a bonus show Yay. on Sunday where we have two exclusive games. The first one wow. is a new build, the final build of Tower of Rubble. Oh, and wow. it's got some really good um, advancements for are, it. Yes. Is anyone joining us on Sunday? Or are you going to try? I, I'm going to try, but okay. we'll see if we can get somebody... It's just I've I'd had no time to make sure yeah, yeah. the no, technology no, no. works. I'm not I'm not putting pressure on you. I'm yeah. just saying. It, I'd like to. I want to have yeah. people all the time. Yeah. Hopefully. On Coronavirus Sunday. special, yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Well, it's because he couldn't do it on Wednesday, so yeah. it's good to get, throw a bonus in there. Yeah. Um, so Tower of Rubble by Dion, Dionoid. Um, he sent that to me today, and I said, oh, well, we'll do it Sunday. I'll do a special, special show for it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna. I pushed back Text Adventure Two, uh, which is a uh, oh, yeah. exclusive premiere. I'm excited for that one. Yep. that was fun. That yep. was fun. Uh, we're also gonna play uh, Zookeeper uh, once more uh, for the uh, 2020 Harmony Games. And we'll play it again, of course, when it comes out. That's a really, really fun. Game. It's coming out soonish. Hmm. Summer? No, probably. Well, who knows now because there's no uh, events. Things things are a little out of up in the air, but yeah. so I don't know when Zookeeper is going to come out. He was planning for PRG two twenty twenty, but okay. there's no PRG twenty twenty. Uh, so we'll I know I noticed the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo posted something saying oh. it's it's not in June this year. It'll be June next year. They ca they're calling oh. it version nine point one. 
instead of version nine. So, so yeah. they're pushing a whole year. They're not even. They're, they're just saying we're just skipping. That's this smart. Year. Yeah. Then pushing back a couple months and then yeah. not even. Knowing. Which is a smaller show, but it was just funny the way they they proposed it. And they're like, it's going to be nine point one. It's going to be in twenty twenty one. And it's like, okay. Yeah. So they're they're pushing it a whole year. I usually can't make early weekend shows. I can watch during work weekdays. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this one will be at eleven a.m. It will be an early I'm show be <laughs> because uh, uh, Thomas Yench has, mm. is is unable to make the night shows because it's like crazy hours. It it, it depends it's, on where you are in the world. It's one a.m. in GMT, and he's two hours past that. Yeah. It's like three a.m. for him. Yeah. So I I try and get some early shows when possible. Yeah. Uh, someone should ask John whether the coronavirus festivities are accelerating or slowing. Slowing is really schedule. Yeah. I, I don't say. know. I yeah. don't know. Well. Um, he's got a lot of games in the works. <laughs> yeah. Depends on what his day job is. Some people are still working. So, it's true. Um, Doesn't slow them down. Yeah. Could go either way. Yeah. Guess it's I should start in say. the artwork for Zookeeper. Yeah. It's very done soon like it's 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 close really to complete yeah yeah um yeah i can't for the 2020 harmony games i can't play the new zookeeper mm. um there i have to play the the public rom mm. at a certain point yeah because i've got a very complete zookeeper now mm. um and he's going to be sending me a brand new game soonish don't know what it is I don't think it's Gorf, because he said it's not Gorf. I think it's something else that he hasn't a announced. A brand new game? A brand new that game. That we've never even tested? Never or? played, yeah. It's coming it's, soon. It's not um, my favorite game, Satan's Hollow? No, well, maybe. Oh, that would be it could be. <laughs> He's given no hints at all yeah. for what it is. Or he did give me a hint. I can't remember. <laughs> or maybe I shouldn't say what it is. No, he did give me just a hint. let it be a surprise. He That's did cool. give me a hint. Mm -hmm. I, I want to make it a surprise. Um, and then on uh, Wednesday, we have Jack and the Beanstalk, Super Mario Sisters, Super Mario Sisters 2, and Cosmic Avenger, which is a port, and this is an early proof of concept that I found out a couple of days ago. It's not even really playable, but okay. I, I wanted to show it you on the show. You want to show it, yeah. It was done by Daryl Spice Jr. for John Shampoo. Oh, wow. But it turned into other games. Okay. And not Cosmic Avenger. Mm. It turned into... Um, Scramble and the other game that's very much like Scramble. Mm. Um, <laughs> and then on the next Friday we have Kaboom Deluxe which is almost pretty much done mm. which is uh, Daryl Spice Jr.'s um, update to Kaboom and he makes it into two players so you can play the top guy dropping the bombs. Mm -hmm. We did play it before but now he's uh, almost done it. We're going to be playing Flappy Bird and Space Battle as well as, La as, well as another game. Mm. And I don't have anything past that because that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm sure more will come up. Mm -hmm. It's something else. So it's not Satan's Hollow. Yeah, I, I, I know kind of what it is, but I, I don't want to say anything because it's more fun leaving it a surprise. You know, mm -hmm. I'll have like a big question mark. Um, Champ Games cartridge label mm -hmm. as for the graphic. Nice. Um, so today we played... Uh, we didn't really play uh stella stella S spell and speak atari vox spell and speak that was very cool especially that you can save your phrases yeah so i, I have to put that homebrew. i have to put that zero page homebrew to use yes in some intro yes, yes. i'll when i have some time whenever that is um do some graphics up mm. and put that in it and Maybe have a rotation of multiple intros with different music because there's a lot of really, really good Atari uh, music like Juno First music and the Man Goes Down music. Mm. And the Omnicron music is really good. Yeah. Um, the Rush Jet One music that he makes is really good. The Parachute Guys. What is it? What's that? Um, what is that game called? I can picture it, but yeah. Yeah, where you're, you've got... The parachute. parachute. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's like something diver, dive, skydiver, dive. Oh, I always forget the name for it. Um, uh, so, Man Goes Down, amazing, super fun. Yeah. I, I want to play more of it. We'll yeah. probably schedule it again. And great Atari Vox voices. Yeah, throughout that really game. good. Star Castle Arcade? Uh, 
Dark Castle Arcade. Um, that's not what I'm thinking of. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Daredevil. That's Thank you. That's what I'm thinking. It has that's it. amazing music. Yeah, it does. Um, Star yeah. Castle Arcade. I can't remember the music for that. I'll have to check it out. But I think I'll have like an intro rotation because unless somebody makes music for me, which mm. nobody has yet, because I've never really asked for any music. Uh, Juno First. Awesome game. Very, very fun. Um, it uses the Atari box lightly mm -hmm. um, for levels and w which wave you're on. Qbert, uh, really cool addition of the uh, voices for that when you die. Uh, Omicron, uh, very nice as well. Use of the voices for the waves, mm -hmm. uh, which wave you're on, which level you're on. And Wizard of War. And capping great. it off with yeah. Wizard of War, with, yeah. which uses tons of voices. Yeah. Probably Definitely need to go to that link and figure out what it's saying because it's pretty hard to, to decipher. Mm. But, Daredevil. It's I suppose his favorite. Ah, uh, <laughs> it the is music? a very good game. Yes. Yeah, it is a very good game. So I'm really I happy I finally have the new Atari box mm -hmm. and it won't be crashing anymore when I, no. when I play. And it sounds great. It it's does. worked really well through Wizard of War. There was no crashing. It was doing really, really well. It's perfect. Yeah. Because that, like, we're trying, when it was crashing at first, they were like, oh, well, maybe it's your, maybe it's your. System RGB or, yeah. because I was the I think I was one of the first ones to report it because I got early builds yeah of uh, of Wizard of War mm. so they're like oh it's your system it's not mm. crashing here mm. but then other people started like reporting they it. put it out and other people had reports as well uh, then they were trying to narrow it down and uh, to the system and it was it was just too widespread mm. and they figured out it was the actual something in the card something in the card. Yeah. And people made some uh, test programs to just push it, like just play tons of voices over and over again. Just play, 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 play. Mm. And it crashed a lot. So, mm. uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors, the 2600 music. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I want to do something like a, a show with the best music, but there's nothing, there's no, no interaction. Like we just sit here and listen to music. <laughs> So I, well, I, I can't think of a concept yet of how to make that work. Well, you just pick the best, like, some of the games with the best music, and you play those games. I mean... Yeah. Nah, I mean, that, that works. But the music's not usually in the game. It's usually in the title screen. So you're not hearing yeah. the, the music. Because it's much easier to play music when it doesn't have to deal with inputs. Yeah. Because it takes time. Just need to run it as intro music. But, yeah, I mean... That's yeah, pretty cool. and that's... And that's what I think I'm going to do is have a rotation of music mm -hmm. and different intros. Like I'll just have the intro one, two, three, four, and just rotate it. Mm -hmm. um, and that is it. And I think that was a good um, showing off of the Atari Vox. Um, and that was a lot of fun hearing the new mm -hmm. uh, startup uh, voice. I, that I, I really was enjoyed to the spell and speak quite a bit, like just putting things in and yes. singing and trying to get it to sound properly. And oh yeah, that's a, that's a surprisingly fun game. To play. <laughs> <laughs> Can you call it a game? It yeah. has interactivity. Yeah, I yeah. guess it's a game, You're, yeah. and the game is trying to make it sound like the word. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. um, so that was yeah, I could say that's a game. Uh, but credit the game so we know where to look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could put it at the bottom mm -hmm. saying intro music by. Yeah. Because that only makes sense because people are going to ask. And it's nice to give credit for when you're using music, mm -hmm. especially without asking. <laughs> um, but why not? Um, what's all hazy? What is hazy? Is it this monitor? Oh, there we go. Oh. Because yeah, the fine. light is getting in the... In the camera? Yeah, look at that. Oh, no, it's actually, I think it's reflecting off the wall. Is it? No, Maybe. that doesn't make any sense. No, it's getting in the camera. Oh. Sorry hmm. about that. It didn't look too bad. It's just on your side there. And that's why you have those gates at the side. <laughs> wow. Well, <of laughs> to, to block cameras, the light. Yeah. yeah. I don't have yeah. one for this. That's okay. Um, it's fine. He uh, still has a pretty good rig here. Zero page home yeah. or the mixtape. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yep. I'll, yeah. Uh, and then when I get compile all these music music uh all this music together i can play it before the show i'm sure you can create a spotify list music mm. list yep. or somehow some similar some yeah. similar uh music list yeah 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 because cool. i did find a youtube channel that did have a lot of really good music and some mm. of it i recognized and some i didn't from atari 2600 so mm. cool 
Um, so that is it for now. Thank you so much for everybody for tuning in uh, and staying with us for so long. Another massively long show. And I think we do that because... Three hours. Um, because we can. We miss shows. <laughs> and we can. And we can chat. And yeah. it's nice. Yeah. So I want to thank all the people that hung on and were chatting. Mm -hmm. Nathan Strum, the D-Train 37, RC70, Ice Bosta, uh, Dan and ABC, uh, Ice Bosta again, Philadelphia Collins. Nice. Someone that, jumped in. That's a new name. Um, somebody is a fan of Trailer Park Boys because... That is the name of a character, Phil Collins. Oh, really? He's a guy with a big stomach that uh, sold burgers. He's a big fan of Trailer Park Boys. I'm so. a fan. You are a big later, fan. Later seasons. Yeah, it not got, so much. It got a little silly. Yeah. But early okay. seasons. Um, yeah. Yay, yeah. Dan. Thank you for staying. Uh, Pacra VG. Yeah. Prow Arena 7. Foot. Uh, oh, Cafe Man 2D. Sir, yep. Got that one. Or 06502. Yeah. Scrolling through the names. Oh, that's it. I think that's good. Well, yeah. I stayed. Good. Nova Scotia's finest. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. 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 You can hear Absolutely. the accent in the show. Yeah. <laughs> um, so thanks for hanging on. And uh, we will be back on Wednesday. Sunday. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully with a guest. Um, we'll see. We'll see how we it can, works. Yeah. Uh, get the technology going and yeah. if they're available, which they are because there's nowhere to go. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, which hmm, is a bonus. What are our friends doing? Oh, nothing. Let's yeah. live stream with them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and so we will see on Sunday. Remember, it's in the morning. It's 11 a.m. if you want to check out that. And you can always mm -hmm. see the schedule on the Atari mm -hmm. Age forums under Zero Page Homebrew. Um, so thanks for tuning in and we will see you on Sunday. Yeah. Bye. Bye, everyone. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Bye.